Hello everyone, I'm Havoc, and this is World of Warcraft. I'm going to do something a little different here, and that is, it's not a role-playing series, but I do want to dive more into the lore. I see a lot of people that play the game, they spam click accept quests, they kill 15 mobs, move on, they have no idea what's going on in the world. Um, I do enjoy the lore a good bit, I want to get into the lore very well and read it. I'm not going to be role-playing voices or anything crazy like that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> but I want to do a good story run where we talk about what's going on. This is not a how-to-play series. This is not a guide for how to hit 60 the fastest. We are going to play around and I'm going to try and do as little editing as possible, maybe no real editing, uh, we'll see, in order to get a good series. Now I have a rogue here, I have played rogues in the past and I do quite enjoy them. Uh, you probably notice I've got a few characters, this is my bank character by the way, but I have a paladin, a warlock, and a mage. <laughs> Uh, I play these from time to time, uh, but right now I'm going to start the Rogue and we're going to get into this series. It's going to be a relaxed series, playing through, reading the story, and just kind of talking, maybe being quiet at times, just to enjoy the experience. So, let's get into this. Noble humans of Stormwind are a proud, tenacious race. Though the recent invasion of the demonic Burning Legion decimated their sister kingdom of Lordaeron, the defenders of Stormwind stand vigilant against any who would threaten the sanctity of their land. Nestled in the foothills of Elwyn Forest, Stormwind City is one of the last bastions of human power in the world. Ruled by the Child King, Anduin Rin, the people of Stormwind remain steadfast in their commitment to the Grand Alliance. Backed by their stalwart allies, the armies of Stormwind have been called away to fight the savage horde on distant battlefields. With the armies gone, the defense of Stormwind now falls to its proud citizens. You must defend the kingdom against the foul Mongols that encroach upon it and hunt down the subversive traitors who seek to destroy it from within. Now is the time for heroes. Now humanity's greatest chapter can be told. All right, I have just a couple of add-ons here. Um, nothing super special other than uh, details right down here. This is a tracker for damage done, DPS healing, those sort of things. Uh, let's see, a couple other things that deal with the world around you and getting attuned at high level and those sort of things. Oh, and inventorium, which adjusts your bag. So instead of opening all bag, or excuse me, individual bags, you can open them all in one neat interface which I absolutely love to use that those are the only real add-ons that we'll be using nothing else unless there's some good suggestions added in the comments and then I'll look at some stuff so we can get some really nice things put in here like I said nothing super game-changing just a few interface things and speaking of interface things we've got to put auto loot on and get all of our action bars up for when we start putting stuff where it belongs. So um, if anyone's wondering, I have these hotkeyed to the shift key so I can shift one, shift two, and get these up here. And that's primarily it. Uh, I know there are people that do really crazy, uh, let's see, sorry, really crazy setups. Uh, let me get out of looking for group channel. There's no telling what shows up in the chat for this game so we are going to try and 
primarily avoid that if we can. What can I do for you? I hope you've strapped your belt on tight, young rogue, because there is work to do in Northshire, and I don't mean farming. The Stormwind Guards have hard pressed, are hard pressed to keep the pace here with so many in distant lands and so many threats pressing close. And so we're enlisting the aid of anyone willing to defend our home and the Alliance. If you are here to answer the call, then speak with my superior, Marshal McBride. He's inside the abbey behind me. Have a good one. All right, so the story goes kind of up to this point. You're just an average citizen, uh, and you're rolling up to see what you can do to help in the defense of the kingdom and the land. So right now, this is the area where they're re recruiting in Northshire Abbey, in Northshire Valley, here in Elwyn Woods for the human kingdom. Need help? Ah, good. Another volunteer. We're getting a lot of you these days. I hope it's enough. The human lands are threatened from without, and so many of our forces have been marshaled abroad. This, in turn, leaves room for corrupt and lawless groups to thrive within our borders. It is a many-fronted battle we wage, Havoc. Insert your name here. <laughs> Gird yourself for a long campaign. Your first task is one of clean cleansing havoc a clan of kobolds have infested the woods to the north go there and fight the kobold vermin you find reduce their numbers so that me we may one day drive them from northshire and then it's just killing some pretty simple oh also i have questy so if you don't know what that is it's to help show things on the map i opened my map already probably saw it shows where quests are i'm not a um, know it all to wow I do enjoy the game but I don't know where everything is this is just to help with uh, finding quest really that I don't have or if I misunderstand where it said this one's pretty simple and as you've noticed I've made a human character or two before uh, it's not the only character that I play but this server is one that I've relatively newer on so I've only got a few characters on here hello I hate those nasty timber wolves, but I sure like eating wolf steaks. Bring me tough wolf meat and I will exchange it for something you'll find useful. Tough wolf meat is gathered from hunting the timber wolves and young wolves wandering north the Northshire countryside. See you around. He's hungry. He wants some food. Now to begin with, there's not a whole lot. We've got uh, energy is how we complete moves. Our Sinister Strike does a little bit of damage. It's an uh, instant cast and gives you a combo point, which can be then used for other abilities. Right now, the only one we really have is Eviscerate, which I am going to move around. I don't know the best way to play a rogue. I mean, like I said before, this isn't a, the best way. Uh, I'm just going to do some different combos, trying to figure things out as I go. Your energy comes back super fast. I'm used to playing classes like you saw, Paladin, Mage, Warlock, the poor suckers that are stuck with mana, and mana does not come back quickly after a fight, unless you've stacked an insane amount of spirit on your character. <laughs> And I don't usually do that. None of those classes... Well, my Warlock's got a decent amount of spirit stats uh, and intellect, but my Paladin most certainly does not have a lot of spirit. So once you've used your mana, you got to sit down, drink a little bit, use a potion, get a buff, eat something with a buff that gives back mana. <laughs> but this guy has energy, and oh boy, does it come back quickly. Compared to mana. Now, ooh, already leveling up. I have already thought about the professions. I am absolutely going to do uh, fishing, cooking, first aid, all of the, the trinity on this guy. And I'm going to get into engineering. I've never gotten engineering very high. It's usually a profession that I don't really bother with. And I'm super interested in it. I'm like I said, I'm trying to do things a little bit different than I usually would. Going to try different things, see what I learn. 
engineering sounds really cool and this is obviously during the time of uh, TBC which is the burning crusade in the classic form so I am playing on TBC forms uh, of the classic servers so you may notice there'll be drain I drainy whatever you call it however you pronounce it also don't butcher me in the comments about pronunciations I'm horrible at that I was a math kid in school. You want me to do some math? I can do you some math. Can't speak my own language very well or pronunciate things. <laughs> and I'm just murdering some extra wolves here while I'm blabbering on. <laughs> I don't have any throne items, do I? I do. Okay. How are you? I'm getting hungry. Did you get that tough wolf meat? Wow, impatient man. You've been busy. I can't wait to cook up that wolf meat. I have some things you might want to take your pick. So, oh, I also have vendor price, an add-on, which allows me to see what these sell for. I really don't care about either one. I guess the bracers. A little Safe bit of travels. leather. It's the type of armor I use. It'll help me out a tiny bit. Now let's go up here and find these vermin and slaughter them. Excuse me. I'm already noticing the fact that I can breeze right through um, a lot of this because I don't have mana and I can rejuvenate between fights. And right now I'm taking no damage really. It's interesting. I'm used to playing on classes that take a little damage. Well, the paladin didn't take as much damage. But my clothies, mm -hmm. the warlock, the mage, ooh, you don't want things getting up close and in your business. <laughs> so the story here, like you heard earlier, is that the soldiers are all off fighting against the horde and other threats to Azeroth and the Alliance. And with it so stretched thin, Things have crept into the land. Kobolds notoriously love shiny things and mines. So, of course, they pop up everywhere there's a mine and start infesting it, like this mine right up here. And so we are coming to thin their numbers out so that the mine can be reclaimed and we can start getting gold flowing to Stormwind again. You would think having gold to pay for soldiers was probably a pretty big necessity, an important task for the crown. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm already liking the rogue. I mean, I'm just steamrolling through things right here. I think when they changed from Classic WoW to TBC Classic, I think there's some leveling changes that help you level faster. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm only thinking roughly at what I can remember. I think I am going to adjust the sound just a touch primarily the ambience and music just to give you guys a little bit more to listen to than just my voice need to sell some things King's honor, friend. well done citizen those kobolds are thieves and cowards but in large numbers they pose a threat to us and the humans of Stormwind do not need another threat for defeating them, you have my gratitude and some pocket change. <laughs> I was asked to bring this to your attention as soon as you returned from the Cabal Camps Havoc. It appears to be a letter sealed with the insignia of Jorik, Jorik, one of our local trainers. I wouldn't hesitate to read it before you go about any other business here in the Lord Abbey. Honor, Greetings. Havoc, my scouts tell me that the Cabal infestation is larger than we had thought. A group of Cabal workers has camped near Echo Ridge Mine to the north. Go to the mine and remove them. 
We know there are at least 10. Kill them. <laughs> See if there are more, then report back to me. The Alliance. Oh, my friend, there are definitely more than just 10, but I like your just good round number there. There are at least 10. I supply only the finest. His scouts are some of the best. They walked around the corner and they said, yep, Have a good there's one. at least 10 kobolds over there. <laughs> hey there. Recently, a new group of thieves has been hanging around Northshire. They call themselves the Defias Brotherhood and have been seen across the river to the east. I don't know what they are up to, but I'm sure it's no good. Bring me the bandanas they wear and I'll reward you with a weapon. See you later. I mean, see, I don't know if that helps. I could just go buy them from them. Like, hey, bro, let me borrow your bandana there. I'll pay you some money for it. And then I haven't cleared them out. See, that's how a rogue would think. I mean, I don't know. You're also assassin-y, so you think about sneaking in and just killing all of them and taking the things. Oh, let's read the letter here. <laughs> Never been more proud to be part of the trade as I am in these last few years. I The need for assassins, spies, and scouts has never been more prevalent. You'd think wartime would have had higher demand, but surprisingly, war isn't a time. It We flourish like we do now, the times after peace starts to deteriorate. I was told you'd be in the area looking to learn a few things. When you have time, come see me by the stables in the back of the abbey. Yorick Carradine, rogue trainer. Can I help you? Encrypted letter. You made it here in one piece, and it doesn't look like too many people saw you. Good enough for me. I don't like to have much attention drawn to me back here. Nice and quiet. I'm sure you can understand. Have any trouble yet? I'm glad to hear not. That'll change soon enough. Let's give him back his letter. You're going to find a number of outfits that covet our skills, have it. adventures, SI7, heck, even the Defias Brotherhood wouldn't mind a spy or two inside Stormwind. But you remember this, you're your own man. Don't let nobody bully you into doing something you don't want to do. Besides, we hold all the cards, at least. We do before the game's done. Know what I mean? Anyways, I just wanted to introduce myself and let you know that I'm here if you need any training. Come by any time. For the Alliance. Absolutely. Stealth. Alright, when do I get something new? Level 4. Level 4, I get pick pickpocket and backstab. See you around. Stealth doesn't do me much good right now. Uh, at this level, I think most things are able to see you pretty easily, and it, I think it gives a slight bonus uh, so for your hit if you sneak up behind something. But I mean, I can just walk up behind and shank these things because they're not aggressive yet. <laughs> these kobold workers, I can already tell they are a little bit harder to kill than the vermin are. And I'm, let's see, what level am I? Level three, they're level three. I was fighting level one creatures earlier. And I felt at level one, I was significantly stronger than they were. Not that these are hard to kill. They just take a few extra hits. But that's all. Combos though, very nice. That and something that I really like about melee classes is you don't get interrupted when you're hit. Well, I mean, people can stun you and such later on. But with a mage class or a casting class, if you're hit with melee while you're casting, it causes you to be delayed on your cast, and that's so aggravating. Get a couple of points in here early. Let's read this. 1 point, 7 to 10 damage, 2 points, 13 to 17, 3 points, 19 to 23. Interesting. Let's keep clearing out what we need to clear out. 
got three points. So you have enough energy at the weight rate that it comes up to get about three sinister strikes in and then do your finishing combo. Because you do the first two and now I can already do a third. And then combo. 20 damage. Rough. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot more than my just auto attacks. Alright, we killed exactly 10 kobolds. The only 10 that were up here, right? No. <laughs> I think next he's going to have us go in there and clear out more kobolds. We also need to go get the red leather bandanas. Uh, I like the fact that I don't have to carry an extra slot for mana f drinks. That's nice. It's going to definitely help. So, I buy and trade. I, like I said before, I'm going to do engineering okay. and jewel crafting. And if you realize, those are both consumption professions. I'm going to consume materials, both that are provided by miners. So I will be using my other characters to like gather them. those resources. I don't like hearing all of these kobolds in our mind. No good can come of this. Here, take this as payment, and when you're ready, speak to me again. I would like you to go back to the mines one more time. Your previous investigations are proof that Echo Ridge Mine needs purging. Return to me when and help clear it of kobolds. Waste no time, Havoc. The longer the kobolds are left unmolested in the mine, the deeper a foothold they gain in Northshire. Kill 12 of them. Bless you. All right, I don't think 12 is uh, enough to purge the mine. I think there's more than 12 around here. <laughs> but we'll thin their numbers, you know, before they respawn. <laughs> oh. I already have two silver, nine copper. It's not bad. Of course, when I level up, I'm going to lose most of that money to train. However, I think pickpocketing might be a lucrative little trick to do. I don't really know. I've not done it a lot. So let's see. What are we doing in here? We're coming after these guys, laborers. Got to kill 12 of them. I would love to find a chest in here that has a bag in it. Just temporarily. I am going to send some bags from one of my other characters to this character eventually. My warlock is a tailor. how well the throne item works. One to two damage, huh? Let's test it out. <laughs> now, interesting. I thought you had to buy ammo, such as the hunters. The hunters need ammo for their bow. It looks like you don't need ammo for a thrown weapon. Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. <laughs> I've th Well, I guess you pull it back out of their body after you kill them. You could say it that way. But what if I throw it at something and it runs off and I don't loot it and then throws off cooldown? I magically have another item to throw? Hey, we won't ask too many questions here. <laughs> Later on, I don't think I'm going to use Throne anyways, because engineers can make guns and ammo, and that sounds awesome to me. Alright, we've already killed seven. We only need to kill a handful more. I think I'm going to go down this way, because like I said, I believe there's a chest around here, or there's a chance of a chest. Not around here. And the fact that these guys are not aggressive is hilarious to me. You would think if they were infesting this mine and didn't want people in here, they would be aggressive.
but I'll take advantage of this and just run to the back and check for the chest. Um, hey, hey, there's a chest. If I was worried about more competition, I would go straight for the chest, but I haven't seen anyone else right now running around in this area. Well, what do we got? Hey, we got some pants. That's better than nothing. No bag, but that's okay. That's alright. Oh, I was hoping that would crit and just kill it for me. Last one, and we can move on and go play with the Defias. My Paladin is a miner. And that is who I'll be using to gather resources for my engineering and jewel crafting. Now, for jewel crafting, you've got to do a little traveling. I think the only trainer for that, and again, I'm saying I think, I'm not sure, would be at Exodar. And that's a little ways away. But I might be able to convince a mage to give me a portal if I'm kind enough. I will definitely attempt to build up some supplies to use before I do that though because I don't want to get out there just to gain the skill. I want to do a lot of training it. A lot of training in it. just killing a few on the way out for a little bit of extra experience. I do that sometimes. I like to be a little bit uh, over the area rather than at or below the level where I'm at. And sometimes that requires just a little bit of grinding kills, grinding mobs to get that little bit of extra experience. It helps with your hit rating, and that's the chance that you actually hit something instead of missing or dodging or being deflected. Any of those wonderful things where you did no damage and you have to wait for the cooldown of your weapon to hit again. Of course, it feels really nice I with these rogues, and, and they're very short um, attack speed, Go with honor, friend. which really helps out. What can I do for you? All right, what do we want? Probably want this belt. Once again, you have earned my respect and the gratitude of the Stormwind army. There may yet be kobolds in the mind, but I will marshal others against them. You have further task for you. Report to Goldshire. Havoc, you are a rogue with proven interest in the security of Northshire. You are now tasked with the protection of the surrounding Elwyn forest. If you accept this duty, then I have prepared papers that must be delivered to Marshal Dugan in Goldshire. Goldshire lies along the southern road past the border gates. Light bless you. I am being recruited. Let's go and get these bandanas. Ooh. And before we do that, I want to train. See, here is where I can start using stealth because across the water over there, those bandits are aggressive. I can also try out pickpocketing since I'm about to go broke. Greetings. He wants 95 copper and 95 copper. Goodness gracious. Like See I said, later. about to go broke. Guess what? I'm broke now. Holy cow. So, if I go into stealth, let's see. Backstab. It's probably going to be really good. Pickpocket. Really good. So, backstab. Backstab the target, causing 150 weapon damage plus 15 to the target. Must be behind the target. Requires a dagger in the main hand. Awards one combo point. That's a good opener for a fight. Let's see about pickpocketing. 
Oh, I got a copper. Hey, that's one extra copper. And you have to be very close for backstab. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense logically, but... Come on. We can do it. There's one bandana. Now, I'm curious if you can get really good loot. Oh, boy, he spotted me. From pickpocketing? Where'd you... There you go. Well, it takes a lot of energy to do backstab. A lot of energy. I can't wait to get talents. I haven't really looked at the talent tree for rogues yet. Wow, they're, they're just flipping to look at you thing. It's a little weird. Oh boy. He walked right on top of me. Of course. Boom. Wow, getting these bandanas is not going to be hard. Oh yeah. Oh, he resisted. Uh-oh. Is that guy running at me? <laughs> he sure is. That's okay. I have faith. Oh, a third one. Are you kidding me? This is a death sentence. Maybe I can kill two of them? Oh, boy. I don't know, maybe I can kill this guy. Holy smokes! Rogues are OP. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Taking on three enemies. Oh. <laughs> oh, anyone that has played Classic WoW, you're going to know. You're going to know the pain. I say that and then I turn around and see mages running around pulling a whole ton of things. Oh, come on. Yeah, I got him. That was weird. I kind of backstabbed her from inside of the hitbox. Very, very nice. 150% weapon damage. So the better your weapon, the better that goes. Did he move out of range? There we go. Very nice. Still waiting to see that awesome loot. So also I'm noticing I pickpocket, I get money. And when I kill and loot it at the end, I'm getting money again, right? Is that what I'm seeing here? Yeah, sure enough. <laughs> I'm printing money. Like the national treasury right now. Watch out for inflation. <laughs> I wonder if that's why pickpocket was so expensive. Whoa, there's that guy running. I'm not worried about you. I got this. It's too bad I can't pickpocket you. Because pickpocketing requires stealth. I was about to ask, can you stun a target and then turn around and pickpocket it while it's stunned, but pickpocketing requires stealth. So I should probably put it somewhere while stealth, the stealth bar, rather than up here in shift one. Or... Wait a minute. This doesn't require stealth. That's what we're going to do. Oh, boy. No, no, you saw nothing. Because I can backstab while out of stealth. If once I get a stun, I can simply stun them, run around behind them, and backstab. Well, that is until later on, because I am going to use swords. Daggers are fun. But I think swords are better. And that is just a 
educated guess, I guess you could say. Um, not anything I don't know because I'm not a primary rogue player. But I've got a feeling for being out in the world and playing afraid not. What is that nonsense? She resisted the backstab. Does that mean she blocked it? <laughs> How do you resist getting stabbed in the back? <laughs> I think if it had said blocked or dodged or something, that would have made a lot more sense there. Not resisted. <laughs> oh. I'm telling you what, though. I am enjoying the road. Oh, come on. Just caught with my fingers in the purse just then. Alright, I just need one more. This guy is sporadically walking around. Calm down for a minute, buddy, and let me rob you and then stab you. Oh, trying to pickpocket after he's been pickpocketed instead of backstabbing. What a shame. Oh, did that really? He really didn't have one. Holy cow. After I had already banked so much on that one being the last one. It's okay, this is going to get me to level up. Boom. There's level 5. What What happened to these guys? I can see the bandana on them. Come on now. Pickpocket. Backstab. Ooh. A good... 23 damage with a backstab. There we go. Alright. Oh, and rogues can sprint. That's right. So I can run around like a crazy person. Hey, that's got better armor. That's just cloth, but I don't have gloves on. We're going to equip all of the random things that we get here. Because every single stat helps you at this point something? in time. Have you gathered those bandanas for me yet? Back with some bandanas, I see. The Stormwind Army appreciates your help. Militia Dagger. You've shown yourself a dependable rogue, Havoc. Dependable and not afraid to get your hands dirty, eh? I have a friend, Millie Osworth, who's in some trouble. She's over with her wagon on the other side of the abbey, near the stable. I'm sure she could use a pair of hands like yours. See you around. Whoa. Whoa, Good sir. Careful there. Garrick Padfoot, a cutthroat who's plagued f our farmers and merchants for weeks, has was seen at a shack near the vineyards, which lies east of the abbey and across the bridge. Bring me the villain's head and earn his bounty. Be wary, Havoc. Garrick has gathered a gang of thugs around him. He will not be an easy man to reach. Okay. Safe travels. So let's run around here. I think it was level six that we got the next set of abilities. The stun. Well, I know it's level six, but I think it's. I think gouge was the stun, which will probably help with fighting that group of enemies you around the big guy. Incapacitate the opponent for four seconds. And turns your attacks off. Must be facing you. And if it takes any damage, it wakes up. And then a stronger be sinister careful. strike. Yeah, well, so we may try and get to level hey six before taking down that bounty. Oh, Deputy Willem told you to speak with me. He's a brave man and always willing to help. But his duties keep him stuck at Northshire Abbey. And I'm afraid the problem I have today is beyond him. Perhaps you can help me. I think she's uh, fawning over that man there. Safe she's travels. Going on about him. A gang of brigands, the Defias, have moved into the Northshire vineyards while I was harvesting. I reported it to the Northshire guards, and they assured me that they'd take care of things. But I'm afraid for my crop of grapes. If the Defias don't steal them, then I fear our guards will trample them when they chase away the thugs. 
Please, you must help me. I gathered most of the grapes into buckets, but I left them in the vineyards to the southeast. Bring me those buckets. Saved my harvest. See you around. Okay, Millie. Let's see what we can do here. I just realized my weapons do next to no damage, so it probably 150% of one damage or two damage is not a lot. <laughs> Two to four damage. So if you just say three is the average, you get, what, 150% of that? All right. Oh, boy. He was on to me well before I even got to pickpocket him. So... Let's see, I think some of these people don't even move. I say that and then they move. <laughs> I don't think they move. Shift. Of course. But here's some of the harvests. There's actually buckets everywhere. If I can just thin out these defias. You see nothing. I've really got to do a better job about sneaking around on their blind side. Whoop. My goodness, I feel like the rogue is very, very strong. Let's stealth in here. You, no, you, there's no way. I was walking up right next to you. What, what's going on here? There we go. Holy cow. That guy got wrecked. Didn't even see that coming. Alright, so I definitely don't want to take on three guys or girls. Three mobs all at once. Oh! Thought he was going to keep walking away. Not turn around and attack. Come on. I'm just here for the grapes. I'm not even here for you. <laughs> I'm just trying to save poor Millie's grapes from you brigands and from being stomped by the guards that she's afraid will pay no heed to her crops. Oh, I was trying to get back backstab off so bad. Look when they walk on top of you. Oh, come on. It wasn't going to happen. I'm too slow. They really don't do a lot of damage to me, though. gonna pay more attention and see if it's a lot of dodging or what's going on here because rogues are famous for their evasion so let's see what happens in this fight you didn't see me you saw nothing I'm just gonna rob you stab you in the back stand here for a second okay she missed with one of them. No, they just don't do a lot of damage because she hit me several times there. They just do very, very little damage. Now, I need to hit level 6. If only I knew how much experience I was going to get from turning in Millie's quest. I guess I can turn in her quest and then see how much I get and then I'll know exactly what I need. Did I actually get that off? He was facing me. <laughs> oh boy. I just pickpocketed him from in front of him. While stealth. Yeah, it just says pick the target's pocket. It doesn't say you have to be behind. Oh. I was making assumptions here. It probably helps to not get detected if I walk up <laughs> in stealth.
take that one copper out of his pocket and then get the other copper. All right, Millie. I only need 1,800 experience roughly. I'm definitely not going to get that from this quest. I'll get a portion of it though. <laughs> and well, for that matter, there'll be a follow-up quest. Let's do those and see how close we get before we go after Padfoot. Garrick. Oh, thank you, Havoc. You saved my harvest, and I hope you showed a few of those defies that they can't cause trouble around here. We might be short on guards these days, but we're lucky to have heroes like you to protect us. Now that my crop is saved, take this grape manifest to Brother Niels. He manages the store of food and drink in the North in Northshire, and I'm sure he'll be delighted to hear that he has fresh grapes. You'll find Brother Niels in the Abbey in the Bell Tower, where he likes to taste wine. Have a good one. <laughs> He's getting drunk up there. All right, let's see. Three armor, three armor. Is there a different look to this one? No, it's probably the same cloak. We can sell some of these things. Oh, look, a warlock. <laughs> Good luck, friend. Let's go find a brother Niels, who manages the food and drink here, and let him know that the grapes were not destroyed. He can be overjoyed. He can taste all of the wines that will come from what we do. Oh, Millie. How are you? You look to be in fine spirits. Come, have a seat and have a drink. He's so sweet. Let's see here. Oh my, Millie's grapes have been saved. When she told me that the brigands overran her vineyard, I nearly despaired, but my faith in the light did not waver. And through your bravery, we now have grapes for more wine. May the light bless you, Havoc, and keep you safe. <laughs> see you later. All right, there we go. We got a slightly better... Oh, gosh. Slightly better stats. Goofy looking. Cloak? Yes, it's called a cloak. Goodness gracious. All right, but here's the problem. We've got a little ways to go before we hit six. So, we've got a couple of options. For the alliance. Uh, let's put this down here on my hotbar. Maybe, just maybe, we can get this guy over here without hitting six. So there's a couple of different tactics we can go with. I can try and stealth in, backstab, and burst the boss, get the head and run. <laughs> but that whole time I'm going to be taking on multiple targets. which isn't necessarily impossible. I think this might be a limit testing moment for me on this rogue. But if I can't do it that way, oh, hello, pickpocket. <laughs> Thanks for the good, he's just staring right at me. He kind of knows something's going on there. That's, ooh, what, a healing potion. Oh my gosh, okay. I love pickpocketing already. It's awesome. I'm just going to run around stealth pickpocketing everything. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Does he only have one other person? Oh, this is going to be easy. Hold on here. Oh, man. I was stressing it. I'm over here strategizing, coming up with ideas and plans, and all I've got to do is get over this weird jug, stab him in the back. And then blow them up. Let's not have that guy at our back, though. I'm pretty sure they get a bonus when they're attacking you from behind, just like you get a bonus attacking them from behind. Holy smokes. Why did I even think this was going to be hard? Why was I even concerned? I didn't even lose a portion well, I lost a portion. A large portion of my health. <laughs> Alright. 
Love my rogue already. Have I already pickpocketed you? Yep. Okay, so I just need to stab you. I'm not even going to stealth up to you. Okay, so we can roll right back over and turn in the head. Hopefully, because it's a boss, I'm saying that with air quotes, you guys can't see it, but there's air quotes, <laughs> a bounty on this guy's head. Hopefully it gives more experience. I need just under 900 right now to level up. I don't think I'm going to get 900 experience from one quest, even though it's a bounty quest, but we will see. And that's all right. I can always train once we get moving to the next area. Yay, a slightly better tunic. Ha, you caught him. We've done Elwyn a great service and earned a nice Have bounty. A 340 experience. Oh, wow. Well Graphically, met. this vest is feels like a downgrade. Be careful. <laughs> Statistics wise, it looks better, but what is with this white t shirt? What kind of armor is that? It said it was leather. Is, it, is that white leather? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> All right, we are leaving the Abbey and moving on. Not quite level 6 yet. I usually try and be roughly level 6 when I leave the starter area, but we're going to get it right here. Hey there. This man, Falk Han Eisenstrider. Every adventurer should rest when exhaustion sets in, and there's no finer place to get rest and relaxation than at the Lion's Pride Inn. My best friend, innkeeper Farley, runs the Lion's Pride Inn. If you tell him I sent you, he may give you special discounted rates on food and drink. To find the Lion's Pride Inn, travel south along the road here. You can't miss it. Safe travels. Cool. I appreciate that, sir. And we enter Elwyn Forest. I love Elwyn Forest. Background music, the scenery. It's not just because I have several human characters. I do like Elwyn Forest. The story, the quest here, do have you running around a good bit. I feel like some questing zones are a little more streamlined. And then, of course, you've got, say, the Night Elf area where you're <laughs> running around this massive tree. But I do quite enjoy this one. And we're diving right into the story here. So far, we have cleared... Some kobolds out of the mine there, enough to where they can rally a few soldiers, go in and rout the rest of them. We have pushed back the defias that were in the vineyard and secured some food for that very hungry trapper there who gave us some, what is it, these bracers. We are such heroes. Really feels more like Aaron boys, but that's okay. Millie thinks we're the best heroes well in the world. Met. You have word from McBride. Northshire is a garden compared to Elwyn Forest, but I wonder what Morsha Marshall McBride has to report. Here, let me see his papers. Well, it says here that you've been awarded acting deputy status with the Stormwind Marshals. Congratulations and good luck. Keeping Elwyn safe is no picnic. What, with most of the army busy doing who knows what for who knows which noble, it's hard to keep track of the politics in these dark days. The mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to me. The mine is al almost due south of Goldshire, between the Stonefield and McClure homesteads. Go with honor, friend. All right, so looks like the Abbey is not the only place having issues. We've got reports of kobolds. Zoom in a little bit. I hate it when the camera bounces around. What can I do for you? 
Rest and relaxation for the tired and cold. That's our motto. Please take a seat by the fire and rest your weary bones. Would you like to try a sampling of some of our fine food and drink? Sure. It doesn't matter which one. one. I'm going to turn around and sell them. To you. We are going to make this our home so we can hearth back you here. need something? All right. See you around. Good day to you. Hello, good sir. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the Elwyn Mines and the Fargo Deep Mines to the south, and Jasperlode Mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. See you later. Man, I should have snagged the candles off of the heads of those little vermin I was beating up earlier. <laughs> if only I knew the value of those candles then. You need something? The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it and I'll give you the best price in town. Best price in town. You can find kobolds in the Fargo mine to the south and around the Jasperlode mine to the northeast. See you around. Alrighty. So... We are going to go down here. I was hoping I could actually train more. How far am I? I am not far. Let's kill just a few things out here. Oh, I should have seen if you could pickpocket a boar. I simply assumed that you cannot pickpocket a non-humanoid. But that's silly thinking. This is World of Warcraft. Let's see what happens. Nope, no pickets to pocket. Okay, no pockets to pick. <laughs> no pickets to pocket. That's what I thought. But I was not sure. Hello? Did I miss? I missed. Holy cow. I missed with my combo. I think this next one should be it. And then we can run back and look for the trainer. I think the trainer is in the bottom of the inn, close to the warlock trainers, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, this pig is really good at dodging stuff. Should take some lessons. <laughs> okay. That gets us a slightly stronger Sinister Strike. Which is wonderful, and it will get us gouge, so we can stun a target, and then choose what to do after that. Might come in handy if we get in over our heads with pools. Oh, here we go. Hello. Train me. Safe travels. How are you? Uh, I don't do that one. anymore, though, because I need money for training. Am I wrong? Are they hiding back here? Nope, I'm wrong. Okay. Where's the rogue trainer? Do, 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 do. Are they upstairs? <laughs> I'm so lost right now. Who are you? Rogue trainer. What can I do for you? Boom. Okay, let's only show me what I can get. Gouge, Sinister Strike. See you around. I'm absolutely broke. <laughs> but let's put our abilities down here. So, I guess I'll just drop that there for now. Hold on, wait a minute. Did it just upgrade this to rank two for me? Neat, okay. Um, cooking. I'll just throw this over here for now. Holy cow, I already have a 20% chance to dodge. Goodness gracious. That's pretty crazy. Uh, requires one hand of swords, two hand of swords. Yes, I need to learn how to use swords. Okay, now I have a slightly stronger... I mean, it's double the damage. It was causing three, now it causes six. So it's significantly stronger Sinister Strike, and I have Gouge. 
So I can do a little bit of damage and incapacitate a target for just a few seconds. That could be the difference between me getting run over and absolutely destroyed or not. So I am good with that. While we're down here, whoop, we also need to go by the different homesteads over here. Because the people of Alwyn Forest have quite a story to tell. Now, I will go ahead and tell you that a lot of WoW's lore and quest have... Mm, trying to think of how to word this exactly. They're nods to other things, and I'll give you an example. Um, the In America, we talk about the feuding families, the Hatfields and something I don't remember <laughs> oh boy it's bad but it's the two families that are feuding back and forth and hate one another's guts everybody it's a generational thing all the way down to the little bitty kids Ooh, what is this that's two-handed mace it said mining shovel and the guys here this is a nod to that which is kind of also like Romeo and Juliet's family. They were a feuding family. Oh boy. Oh no. I don't know why. It's, I guess he walked just out of range as I was trying to pickpocket him. And then of course turns around to fight me. What a jerk. I just want to rob you and murder you like a true thug. Hey, I got some gold dust. I got a large candle. We're making some good progress. I almost walked right on top of that kabob. Here I am staring off over here at quests. Over for the questy. Another dust and candle. I'm not used to drop rates right like this. Let me tell you. Okay. Hello. I lost my necklace. And that... And think that gutter snipe Billy McClure took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the McClure vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back for me and you'll warm an old widow's heart. See you later. <laughs> Referencing him to being a rat off awfully like a cabal. Well met. The Brackwells have a huge prize winning pig princess. That sow is huge and she got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies so before she comes out to our fields princess must die bring me her collar as proof of the deed and i'll give you something for your time princess is usually over at the brackwell pumpkin patch to the east and beyond the mcclure farm get her before she gets hungry and comes back here safe travels i mean you really think she travels all the way across to come over here? What do you have growing that's so good? Watermelon? I mean, I guess watermelon tastes better than pumpkin to a pig. I don't know. <laughs> There's a chance of that. It just seems unlikely that that pig wanders all the way over here, passing all the vegetation in between just to come eat the melons. I don't know. Maybe it does. I'm just going to take her word for it and go kill someone else's prize pig. <laughs> just on the whim that this lady says that's what happens. Hey, 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 come back. I want to steal it from you and then stab you in the back. <laughs> Could you mid imagine being the Brockwells? You keep your pig well maintained. It's definitely not your pig going over there. And then she just sends all these adventurers over to murder your pig <laughs> or pigs oh, the nerve I mean look there's pigs everywhere how does she know it's princess that's doing it alright Billy McClure you lost a what well I didn't take no necklace because I ain't no thief goodness I might know who did, but grin. I'm too hungry to remember. Maybe if I got a pie, I could tell you who 
has that necklace. And you know, I think that old Bern, Bernice lady at the other farm makes great pork belly pies. Maybe if you gave her some chunks of boar meat from the boars that hang out around our farms and told her what it was for, she'd bake up a pie for you. This man is a hustler at a ripe young age. <laughs> Oh boy, it's too good. I guess I could have opened a backstab there, but I didn't. All right, four chunks of boar meat. We're going to run in there and talk to her. Oh, I'm the worst rogue ever. I did it again. You don't have to be in stealth to backstab. I've got to cement that in my mind. Because the extra damage that backstab opens a fight with is absolutely beneficial. Pa McClure. Hi, Pa. How are you? It's a pretty scary looking pitchfork. You've bent the crap out of that bottom one there. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm cursed. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies, so I can't see him. Even through, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Goodness, girl. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Please take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He's usually at the river to the west of the Stonefield farm, which is due west of here. Yeah, you said west. Of the Stonefield Farm, which is due west of here. I get it, girl. Have I'm a good heading one. west. Okay. Let's get our boar meat on the way back over there so little hustler Billy can get his pie and then make me go get the necklace back, anyways. Uh oh, I just dropped a spoiler there for all these people that have never quested an L1. <laughs> Did that one not have any meat? Oh, come on. There's boars over there at her farm, so we'll just head in that direction and not worry about it. Is there a greater chance of critting if you come out of stealth? Maybe it's worth it to stealth right before I get to the mob and then backstab. I'm not sure if that's how that works. If any of you out there watching this video know what's going on with rogues and you feel like you want to say something i would absolutely appreciate it you can just drop down in there and tell me yes going into stealth helps with that or no it really doesn't matter i would love to know either way your input is valued here with me i need one more meat oh no Another level six rogue murdering boars? How could you, Plar? <laughs> All right. Let's make some friends over here. Holy cow. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. The last boar meat. Let's go find Tommy Joe Stonefield with his so handsome face. <laughs> I was getting the vibes of absolutely a teenage girl back there. All what right, can let's I do see. For you? you have what? Maybell is the light of my dull life. Hurry, let me see her letter. Ah, I can't stand us being apart. I have to see her. Please have it. Talk with my grandma. If anyone can find a way to bring me together with Maybell, she can. She's inside our house to the east. Safe travels. That's right. Sly, wise old grandmas. And they know what's going on. Let's go get the dirt. Let's go get the lowdown from grandma. Let's see how we're going to get the two lovers together. You know, it really feels like a downgrade from clearing out mines and beating back the defies, but we'll, we'll just do it good day because we're you. good people. I don't think it's right feeding the boy who stole my necklace in the first place. But if that's what it takes to get back what's mine, so be it. Do you have the boar, that boar meat? I sure do. 
Though this wild boar meat is tough, simmer it enough, and it sure does make some tasty pie. Here you go, and when you give this pie to Billy, tell him I hope he chokes on it. See you later. Woman, that's a little kid. You, you have problems. <laughs> All right, Life Grandma Stonefield. While our families are feuding, Tommy Joe and Maybell don't have much of a future, but maybe we can get them together for just a little while. Hmm, what can we do? I bet William Pestle has a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Lion Pride's Inn in Goldshire. Go with honor, friend. That's right, Grandma. That's what we're going to do. But before we go, let's scout the mine, get the last of our gold dust. Maybe actually pop back over here and talk to Billy, because Billy has a quest that will be valuable to us in the mines. Oh, oh boy. Should have pickpocketed him first. You again, Plar. Can I pickpocket something he's fighting? No. <laughs> he's probably mad. I tagged that. I hit it before he, before he did, which means I get credit for the kill. How rude of me. I only have two bag slots left, so we probably need to sell some things. I don't really have anything else that I can equip that is better than what I'm currently wearing. Oh, I'm starving. Do you have that pie for me, Havoc? Mmm, yes, yummy. This pie is the best. I think my memory is coming back to me. I was playing near the Fargo Deep Mine, and I think I dropped, er, I mean I saw the old lady's necklace. Don't ask me how it got there. It wasn't me. Well, anyways, I saw this big gold tooth kobold pick up the necklace and run into that mine, the mine. Go find that kobold, and you'll find the necklace, I swear. Ooh, those are nice gloves. Okay, Billy. There's no one down here. Oh, there is someone down here I can sell to. I was about to say there's no one to sell to, and somebody dropped right in. Vin hey there. Let's see. Oh, he's got all kinds of things. Have a good all one. All right. Now I can go into the mine many additional inventory slots because there's going to be loot to be had in there and I definitely don't want to hear your inventory is full. That's absolutely aggravating when you just want to loot everything in sight. Anyone who's ever played an Elder Scrolls game knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't care if it's a plate on the table and it has no value. I'm picking that sucker up. What do you mean I'm over encumbered? <laughs> That's not a thing in World of Warcraft. You do not get over encumbered, but you do only have so many slots. I got a. Ooh, that's worth 27 copper. I looted that. I pickpocketed that kobold right before that happened. You guys are just. Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna do it. Oh, goodness. I need to stun someone. This is not going well. Hold on here. Alright. Stun you. Focus my efforts on you. And do a little bit of kiting away. Oh no, I'm definitely dead. Run! <laughs> 11 health. We can get away. I have faith. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yep, so that chain aggro, that's going to be a problem. If only we could be sneaky and get past. 
enemies much easier. All right, so let's regenerate health. Go back in here a little more tactful and try not to aggro so many mobs at one time. My wee little low level butt does not do a good job of that. Can I pickpocket this guy? Yep. Hey, turn around. You see nothing. Goodness, would you stop it? There we go. <laughs> Sporadically turning around. Oh. Stun him for a moment, regen energy, try and use some finesse, finesse and tactics here. Don't you parry my hit, get stabbed and die. See this is where had I picked up first aid or cooked anything yet, this would be great. Chunk of boar meat, okay. I know where to get boar meat. We have scout, scouted through here. Whoop. Okay, check this out. Then we're gonna go behind, backstab. Ooh, see those fancy moves? I'm a pro PVPer already. <laughs> I think you need to jump wildly and spin your camera to be a pro PVP player. So I've got some work to do. I am not quite to that level yet. Alright, we need two more gold dust and three more candles. Oh, we also have to get the necklace from in here. So we should probably make a more focused effort on heading in that direction in order to get the necklace. I still got the pickpocket off. Oh, that's great. Uh, you can be stunned. Oh boy, that was the one I already had a couple of points on, right? They don't transfer. Hold on, let's do that. Kill that one. Alright, I need to stun you. Backstab, uh, probably Sinister Strike, and Eviscerate. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Getting a little low health here. A little concerned. Okay. Definitely getting harder. He's letting me know he's aware of me. He growled. Okay, but I did manage to pull him without his little friend. Come on. Yeah. Get some good damage off while also having him incapacitated so he's not doing damage to me. I hear someone else. Fighting somewhere. I don't want to fight a whole bunch of these guys at once. That will absolutely be a death sentence. I can do probably two. Don't you growl at me. Oh, crap. I was going to try and get down there and tag Gold Tooth. Because that kabold ran after somebody who's very close by. Might be my arch nemesis, Plar. <laughs> Let's see, there's a chest back there and everything. Maybe this is a good time to try and throw. Oh, or just. Oh, aggro everything. Run! 
Definitely gonna die. I don't think I can get far enough away in here without running into more kobolds. Oh, I did. No way. How did I aggro? Alright. So you, I can kill. So I'm going to have to clear out around Mr. Goldtooth a little bit better. I guess whoever else was in here either died, but I don't see anyone on the ground. And then they disappeared. Getting to you without attracting anyone else's attention. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. Perfect. So now I can try and be sneaky and get in here. Oh, but there's that guy over there. Okay, so he's a pat and he walks off. Or does he? No, he's just chilling right there. I don't think this is going to end well. <laughs> but I'm going to try it anyways. The moment this guy turns around. Oh boy. He just was facing the other way completely. That's not even cool. Did I just succeed in only getting these two? I think I did. I'm gonna die. Don't have any more potions. Here it goes. Dead. Okay. But here's the good news. I cleared that one out. As long as I get back there quickly before respawn, I can probably get Goldtooth by his little lonesome. Of course, he is level 8, and I'm still only level 6. How's my money situation doing? 3 silver, 13 copper. I wish it told you exactly how much you got from pickpocketing. Because I know I'm getting one, I saw four that one time, in between one and at least four, and then you kill it and you get more than you pickpocket, but just wondering how much it's generating for me. Have I even made back my investment of 95 copper on it yet? Probably not. <laughs> and that's okay. I will get there and then far surpass it. All right. So the trick is to respawn without getting aggro from anything so I can stealth. All right. Now we have to kill Goldtooth all by his lonesome, which I think I can do that. Just need to not aggro that guy. I think we're gonna do that by throwing at Goldtooth. Boy, Goldtooth hurts a lot. Come on now. Oh, and he runs? Oh, this is not good. Of course you run right at this guy. Hold on here. Goodness. Ooh. Channeling. Channeling that inner rogue. 
you all saw that. You witnessed it firsthand. I do actually feel like that was pretty cool there. <laughs> oh, boy. So we're going to heal up and see. I think it's shorter to go the way that I'm facing now and probably kill my way out. I might get the last. Oh, I'll definitely I only need one more candle. So that's definitely a plausible thing to do here. Let's go ahead. See what we can do. I don't think I can sneak all the way out. They can see me a little too well. Plus, this is just extra experience if I kill these guys. Can I loot? Ha <laughs> ha. We parried the gouge. I was going to gouge, wait a second, and backstab. But that's not happening now. I should assign that to be a hotkey so I can go into stealth without having to click down here. <laughs> can you look the other way, Kabold? Can you face a different direction? I'm not going to be able to sneak around you, am I? You're just going to swivel. Oh, are you kidding? They are way too clumped up together to get caught by any of these. It'll be instant death if I'm broke from stealth with this many around now. I can probably do it. Holy cow. That's nice. Quickly. Back into stealth. <laughs> Don't mind your dead friend on the ground. It means nothing. If I was smart, I probably would have killed him just then. But it's okay. We are pretty close to the exit here, and I don't think there's any more really large clumps of kobold. Telling you this really slows you down though. 50% movement speed. You don't see anything, don't you growl? Oh, he dodged. That works too. Alright, we got the necklace. We have all of the other items. Is he just AFK sitting there? You're going to have a bad time when one of these gets on top of you. Oh, he resisted. What a jerk. Oh, it's happening right now. What do we do, guys? Do we help? Do we help the poor guy? He's back. All right, he's got it from here. <laughs> AFKing right in the middle of where the bad guys are. What a goofball. All right, none of this is good for me, so Hello? we will drop it off. Have you found my necklace? Oh, you found it. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Here, take this. It was my husband's. And he always said it was lucky. If only he didn't forget it on his last campaign. Sniff. Oh. Safe travels. That's why she's a widow, huh? He must have been in the Stormwind Army, I guess you'd call it. Yeah, the army. Alright. So we leveled up, we're level seven, and we need to get some boar meat cooked up. Beforehand, I did not really need a food, but I'm already seeing that 
is going to become a necessity. That and some first aid training. Those are definitely going to be important so I can use bandages and every single trick in the book. I mean, I am a rogue. I should be using all of the tricks at my disposal. Am I getting no meat whatsoever? Of course. Getting some good reputation with Stormwind from all these quests. Help make things a little cheaper there. It's my first chunk of boar meat. Hooray! Alright, another easy way to level cooking is to also level fishing right alongside. The two of them complement one another very well. And I'm definitely going to do some fishing. Not just yet, but I will be doing some. How do I miss? <laughs> I'm right behind the target. The target's dazed, stunned. What do you mean you missed? <laughs> what kind of logic is that? Thank you! Wonderful human priest giving me some buffs and heals. We will wave. Alright. Level 10. Already cruising right through the area here. So let's head back up. I've got a lot to turn in back up here now. We can snipe a few of these guys along the way for that passing experience. Keep running. So I can drag my target with me. Ooh, a scroll of protection, a little bit extra armor. That would be very nice. We're going to hold on to that. Be absolutely wonderful. I have almost four silver. And when I hit level eight and train, it'll all go away again. <laughs> but it's okay. I am going to send just a little bit of money to this character from my other characters. I'm not sending crazy amounts maybe a few gold which at this level sounds like a crazy amount but trust me it will not be much in a short amount of time let's get these turned in here hello Psst, do you have that gold dust for me for me that's why he's called Remy two times, because he says things two times. Thanks for the dust, Havoc. Here, here's your cash, and here's a token from associates of mine. You'll find it useful, useful. <laughs> Havoc, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking the gentle folk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the murlocs are a danger. Please, Havoc, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. See you around. Hey, buddy, you didn't say that twice. You broke out of your own character. Greetings. <laughs> This is bad news. What's next? Dragons? We'll have to increase our patrol near that mine. Thanks for your efforts, Havoc. And hold on a moment. I might have another task for you. Thanks to you, we know that Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need to scout and investigate the more distant Jasper Load Mine. Explore Jasper Load Mine and confirm any kobold presence to the mine. Travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north and you will find the mine at the foothills. Light bless you. Well met. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of a murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. 
If you are concerned that the rumors of Murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. Bring me his report. Alrighty. You need something? Did you gather those candles yet? You were busy hunting a bulge, were you? Thanks for the candles, Havoc. Here's your reward. Some interesting little things. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stolman for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you well. I've packed up the candles, and you can find Morgan in our shop, Pestles Apothecary, in the Stormwind Trade District. See you later. Good day to you. You have a note from Grandma Stonefield, eh? I haven't seen Mildred in years. I wonder what she has to say. My heart goes out to those poor souls, those two poor souls, Maybelle and Tommy Joe. I remember being young and in love once. There must be <laughs> He was in love at one point in time, clearly. <laughs> There must be something I can do to help them, let me think. I can make an invisibility liquor for Maybelle so she can slip away from the McClure Vineyards and go to Tommy Joe. But to make the liquor, I need some crystal kelp. Although the kelp usually grows in the ocean, sometimes murlocs collect it. See if the murlocs near Crystal Lake have any. Crystal Lake is just east of Goldshire. Have a good one. I love how he said he was in love once. What happened? <laughs> what do you mean? You remember it once. Light be with you. I don't know. Maybe his significant other was killed. Who knows? Be careful. It just amused me. I got tickled by the way he said that. So, bag space is already an issue. Before I move forward, I am standing right by a mailbox. I'm going to send myself a tiny bit of mail. And then we can get right back to it. Okay, we're back. I have already opened my mail and taken rune cloth bags out. They're 14 slot bags. It's not the biggest thing you can get right now, but it's pretty darn big. We have a few other things. Blacksmithing hammer, fishing poles, some fishing stuff, a few potions. None of it's super groundbreaking. I mean, it gives you a little bit extra strength, swim speed. I can't even use that one yet. you got to be level 10. But it's a few things to give us a little edge. We're no twink or anything crazy. And then I've got stuff here for when we start getting into professions. We're going to grab first aid right now, and we're just going to knock that out. Bandages are very, very important, and we're going to get down to using those. There is a first aid trainer in here, I'm fairly certain, upstairs. Or maybe I'm crazy, I couldn't remember where the rogue trainer is, or know where the rogue trainer is. Hey there. Here we go. Alright. So, See you around. first aid, we're going to start making some bandages. I want to get to heavy bandages because they heal more. 66 health over 6 seconds is not a lot. It's not going to help you a lot. And we're just going to sell these that I use to get to where I can make the better ones. How are you? And then we're going to grab fishing and use that to increase our cooking. That's why I have the fishing pole. And then when we make our way into Stormwind, we will get into learning engineering and then later on, we will get into jewel crafting. I have five gold that I sent over from one of my other characters just to help with purchases for training. And it gets pretty expensive, so I wanted to make sure I had what I need. We just need to make it to 40 in first aid so we can get to the heavy ones. They do 114 healing, which is the majority of my health, two-thirds-ish of my health much better than one-third so I would like to be using those right now instead of the just regular linen bandage of course it's gonna absolutely crush this little bit of linen I sent over I have more and we're gonna be getting some as we're questing I'm actually using some of what we got here and then I'm 
fairly certain linen is used in engineering or cloth is used in engineering for different things. So we will take a look at that when we get there. We're going to go get the crystal kelp fond and probably look through the jasper load mine while we're in that direction and maybe drop down and kill princess over there at the Brackwell farm. Those are in the general direction of one another so I think it'd be a good idea to bundle those tasks together if we can. There we go. That's what I wanted. We're gonna sell these off to the have merchant. Have a good one. You have a good one too. Hold on. Don't stop. We're actually gonna carry these around and we're gonna drop these down somewhere where I can get to them. Strength potion is nice. Oh, it's an elixir. It lasts for an hour. Okay. I like it. We're gonna make use of that. Absolutely. Um, I think this is probably enough bandages for now. We'll make more later when we fill the need. What can I do for you? Let's sell those off, get a little bit of money. Life bless you. I like it. So we're only level seven. We can't really do any training yet. So let's go over here and take care of the little boogers that they call murlocs. I think murlocs are very iconic to WoW and their war cry. <laughs> We're going to stop by at this little dock and get fishing from this trainer. Hey there. Safe travels. Thank you, sir. Now I can use that fishing pole. And I got two of these. Oh, it requires fishing 100. Okay, we may have to reassess that. That's what happens when you buy things on a higher level character and don't pay attention. Now the Murlocs, I think I can pickpocket you guys. You should have pockets. Is that what that little symbol means off to the side? Does that mean that you can pickpocket these? Oh, come on. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> Holy cow. Why are there so many Murlocs around here? Yep. Try and kill this guy. <laughs> no, get out of here. Run off. Holy cow, you guys follow forever. They're gonna murder me. They really are. Why? <laughs> oh. Nope. Dang. Holy cow, they followed me forever. Oh, the excitement's already happening. It's my fault for not paying attention looking around the area. I mean, if I had done that for a second, I would have seen there were so many murlocs in that little spot. <laughs> I'm a rogue. I'm supposed to be tactful thinking about these things. I got all distracted by seeing that little bag insignia and wondering if that meant that they were pickpocketable or not. Oh, did any of you, you sell fishing something? supplies? I don't think See so. You around. That's fine. We'll just slog through the initial part where it takes forever. I see a murloc right over there. And this wolf. Ooh, malachite will help. getting fancy on him. Are those raw? They are raw. Which I do believe means you can cook them when I find the recipe. Now right over here is where I got jumped. Okay, so those two are patrolling around. This guy is just walking back and forth. I 
do not want to fight all of them at once. There are several on this island. I think I can get away with this. Yeah, there we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Why are none of these dropping the stuff? We're getting back to normal drop rates again. I got spoilt for those the gold dust and candles dropped like candy. Ooh, he's facing the other way. What? <laughs> that was weird. I stunned him and he spun around to face the opposite direction. Oh, well, I don't get to pickpocket you. Or backstab you because you're going to parry it. Fine. <laughs> I'll murder you the old-fashioned way, just stabbing you right in the face. Feels better with more bag space. For sure. And for anyone who is just starting out that may be watching this, you don't have to have a high level character to send other stuff to this character. There are bags that are more affordable. They, in the general, um, let's see, I'm trying to think, the tradesmen in general, people over there in town. Oh no. Oh yeah. Just worried about that patrol with two people. You can get bags. They won't be as big as the ones I got, but they'll give you a little bit extra pocket space anyways. And extra pocket space is always wonderful. There's one of the crystal kelp fawn. I probably don't want to go to the islands. Sounds like a bad idea. Let's do it. <laughs> I have a feeling that there's going to be too many of them clumped up together on the islands. Mm, you, what? You see nothing. As long as no one else aggros this, it's fine. But you can make money by grinding these mobs. You can make money by fishing and selling the fish. There's many different ways. If you get a random drop of a green item while you're out questing, you can take that to the auction house and sell it for a decent markup. I would usually do something like five times what the vendor price is. That That's a good easy way to make some money. And most greens are worth usually five times. Actually, to be honest with you, most greens are usually worth a lot more than five times the vendor price. But you can probably realistically get five times the vendor price on pretty much any green even if it's not a specialty one that was an odd noise can I sneak up on you oh boy see here's the problem there are a lot of bad guys right here oh no 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 yep I knew that was going to happen. We're going to use a potion in just a second. I don't know, maybe we won't use a potion. Hold on here. Bandage. Haha, -ha, tricky. I'd rather use a bandage than a potion. A bandage is a lot easier to come by. Look at there. I'm already a professional rogue. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do leather working, so I don't really need that. And I don't think the early recipes are worth that much. Probably don't need to stealth. It slows you down too much. All right. So we can keep heading in this direction to see the Jasper Load mine. <gasps> My buddy Plar. 
He's already level 8. Ah, all that time I spent jumping onto other characters. <laughs> and he's doing, it looks like he's doing what I do and just murdering everything along the way to get just that little bit of extra experience. See, this works perfectly with a rogue too because I can burn my energy, run back, and while I'm kiting away, my energy can regenerate. It's a very common thing on a hunter as well that you shoot, move, wait for the auto attack cooldown to be done, stop, shoot, move. You can completely kite a lot of mobs out early in the game. Later on you get all kinds of stuff that can charge you, stun you, shoot back at you. Seeing these mines gives me a tweak. I do so much mining, I just want to mine them. But I'm not going to do mining on this character. Alright. Yeah, somebody has definitely flown through here and murdered everything. Makes it easy for me. Now the only thing I need to do is drop down and see about the collar from Princess. And then I can head back in the other direction. I wonder if there's anything good to loot. See, these guys don't have the bags, but I know I can pickpocket them, so I'm guessing that was something from Questy. Ooh, that was, yeah, that's worth 27 copper. That is a good pickpocket item to get off of these guys. I like it. Oh, that's not going to be good. Yep, okay. I don't have a reliable way to interrupt spell casting. And spell casters hurt because you have no resistances early on. Get him. Okay. And then we're going to gouge. Backstab. Eviscerate. Come on, eviscerate. There we go. Didn't even break a sweat. These things look a lot like clams that you can open. Keeps confusing me. <laughs> What do you have, my friend? Hey, another one of those things. Oh, hoping I could get the backstab off. Keep trying to be cheap and eviscerate them at three skill points and it just doesn't seem to work very well. This up ahead is the Tower of Azora. We're going to keep heading south past that to the Brackwell farm and mercifully murder Princess. We're going to do it very mercifully. We're not evil. We're not doing anything bad. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Oh, I'm so slow. Hold on, Wolf. Slow down just a bit. There we go. Kill him without even using the combo. I'm very close to leveling up just from that. And then we can keep moving on. I need to take the crystal kelp back, tell them about the mine, bring the collar back. And we're going to have to truck our happy hind ends back over this way to do some quest over here. But I think it would be valuable to drop by here. And oh look, there's Defias everywhere. Why are the Defias at the Brackwell 
pumpkin patch. All right, this is a level nine. Let's see how this goes. Holy cow. That's some damage, princess. Oh, this is this was a great idea. Oh, this is not good. Not good in the slightest. I need to stop princess's damage. Oh! Yeah, you're dead now, piggy. That level up gave me my full health, full energy. Just ruined your day. All right, we've got Princess's Collar. We can hightail it out of here. We'll make our way back to this side shortly with some quests. I do want to fill in the map over here. So we're gonna head this way for no other reason than that. Do that combo over and over again. Um, do our bandaging trick. <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. I just took down a bear. Bear seems like it should be a pretty difficult challenge. We did that well. Now we can't do the little bandaging trick f until this recently bandaged debuff goes away look at that Joanne any new players need some bags see like I said you don't necessarily have to have another character to do well in this game you can start off people will be very kind to you generally I know some people are not always kind but I like to think that most people are Level 79 off Druid, what are you mining over here? <laughs> Running right along the cliffside. Seems like they're mining. Or herbing. Might be getting earth root. Thank you. Oh yeah. 65 armor and plus two to all of my attributes. <laughs> oh, that person's name is Bread. I like it. Jared's Landing. All right, so with that discovered, we can now turn and head straight back to Goldshire. We can turn in the report about the mine and the kelp, get the invisibility potion, and bring it back down to that poor little girl who just wants to see her ever-so-handsome boyfriend. <laughs> Let's see probably a good idea to stealth and then holy cow he can see me from a long ways away I don't know that I want to play around with that I think we're just gonna pop out and run off I do have training to go do as well so I should probably grab that while I'm back at Goldshire sorry for my noisy chair just got to do a little adjusting I've only been in it for a couple hours straight now. <laughs> all right. This is all vendor garbage. If it's gray, it has no use in the game other than, than to vendor. If it's white, it does have a use. You just may not know what it is. That's a food, but we're going to cook some food. Hopefully food that gives us a well-fed buff as well. Help. Cabalds at the Jasper Load Mine, you say? Curses. The situation is worsening by the minute. Thank you for the report, Havoc. But I wish that the news you brought was good news. The garrison on our western border sends word of increasing null and thief activity. They're requesting we send more Stormwind soldiers, but we just don't have any to spare. If you can help, we could use it. 
Go and speak with Deputy Rayner at Westbrook Garrison and see what needs to be done. What he needs to be done. What he needs done. Goodness. Read and speak. <laughs> the garrison is down the road to the west, across the bridge. After you cross the bridge, over the small brook, it will be on the right. The alliance. Can't go west yet, my friend. I need to go east and help. What can I do for you? All right. You got them. Good show. Now, just one moment while I concoct the potion. See you later. Oh, look at him go. This shouldn't take long. He's rubbing two flasks together. <laughs> hey All there. right. Take this invisibility liquor to young Maybell. It should last long enough for her to visit Tommy Joe. Safe travels. Yay. Oh, yes. And while I'm here, training. Need help? What do I have? The next level of eviscerate? So that just straight makes it better, which is interesting because on casters you have different ranks of things. Evasion. Oh, one of my major cooldowns. Good, good, pretty good. Be careful. Okay, so evasion helps a ton. Let's go ahead and get that on the bar somewhere. The rogue's dodge chance will increase by 50%, and, you, and that's on top of what you already have passively of my 21.1% chance to dodge. So I can get my dodge chance up to 70% for a short duration which would be great let's run down here take the poor girl her invisibility liquor so she can see her handsome boyfriend give ma stonefield the collar from where we got rid of her pest problem <laughs> or she just used us for, you know, taking out the enemy's prize pig. Maybe she has a prize pig in the barn and they're going to take it to show. And we just went and murdered that other pig because she told us to, just because. She came up with some elaborate story how it's eating her crops from halfway across the zone. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm only saying these things because I've seen how they act. She wants a poor little kid to choke on some meat pies, and they won't let two teenagers hook up together. I mean, clearly, these are some bad people. They're up to some no good things. You know, you don't even meet the Brackwells. You get over there, and the Defias is crawling around. I think the Defias killed the Brackwells. Or the Brackwell family joined the Defias. Who knows? I honestly don't know, but, you know, we'll find out together. You need something? Oh, my. I feel guilty deceiving my family, but my feelings for Tommy Joe are too strong to ignore. That's hormones, girl. Thank you, Havoc. I'll drink this liquor as soon as I have the chance and sneak away to my love. And for you, please take this. See you around. Sweet. Some experience, some potions. I'm digging it. Let's go talk to Ma Stonefield and see what she says. If she confesses to just having us murder them for no good reason or not. And, okay, good. I didn't sell the boar meat because I do need to work on my cooking skill. Of course, they won't drop boar meat now. Oh, no, I just want to rob you. I'm two levels above you. You should not be able to see me from that far away. <laughs> he walked through me, but didn't realize it till it was too late. Let's hear it. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna sell these potions because I already have some better potions. 
I should probably have drank that Can elixir. Can I help you? Did you see her yet? Did you get her? Thank goodness that pig was getting so big, she'd have eaten our whole crop. Thank you, Havoc. Now, do either of these suit you? The, uh, oh yes. Those boots are very have a nice. Good one. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she's telling the truth. The boots look better, too. I like that. Maybe. There's, there's a chance that she's not lying. Maybe we did good. I don't know. Let's look in the barn and see if she has a pig. <laughs> she doesn't. Uh, that would be funny, though, if WoW had put that in there. Looking for something specific? Nope, just looking to sell the garbage. Thank you, fruit seller. Tell a beam banana. Is that a place or a brand? See you later. <laughs> oh, and... Hello. I'm just going to vendor that recipe. See you around. I'm not too worried about it. So, now it's a good idea to go to the right and complete these quests. So that's what I'm going to do. Head in that direction. Oh, I do need to go to Stormwind. And this might be a good time to go ahead and pick up engineering and look at the really neat things that we can do with that as well. So we'll we'll do that first. Let's run up, go into Stormwind, say hey to all the cool people. I think there's a few quests in Stormwind too that you can do running around, getting to know people, delivering letters. Some backstory for the human race. Stormwind is a branch. It's not, it's the capital now, but it was not the capital when it was originally founded, when the humans originally came to this land. You don't know much about it in the original TBC, but as things progressed in retail, you learn more about the history of Azeroth. and about how different races got where. Look at that. Thanks for the buff, friend. I would buff you, but I'm a rogue. <laughs> Look at this. Defias cut purse just off the side of the road, waiting to ambush and Rob people blind. Rude. Hey, guard. You know there's people right off of the road right back there, camped in eye shot of the road, ear shot, within sight distance of the road. How is it you're doing nothing about that? Can't believe it. Do, 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 do. I love Stormwind's entrance. Let's just zoom out to take it in. These awesome statues. The double wall. They have the wall out front. This moat with a single bridge. I say it's a moat. It's a chasm with water in the bottom of it. A single bridge to get across. Oh. Dragon head hanging from chains. Sounds good. Let's, let's make sure all the other dragons know to stay away from Stormwind. <laughs> Too bad I didn't get the world buff. All right. Here we are in the cozy trade district. And right up here on the left is Pestle's Apothecary. Hello. And there's Morgan. Oh, a shipment from my brother. Splendid. Fortune truly shines on me today. Here's your payment, and while you're here, take a look around. I'm sure we have a potion or other trinket you find useful. So, I've already got the Lion's Strength Elixirs. Increases armor by 50 for an hour. Inflicts 28 to 32 fire damage in a 3 yard radius. See, that one, that one sounds good to have me. Have a good one. 800 experience! Woo! 
How are you? This is a low level quest, but we're going to do it anyways. If you talk to anyone about wine, then you know we, Galenus, sell the best wine in Stormwind, and we're not far. Still in the trade district along the city's lovely canals. Here, take this pamphlet, bring it to my sister Suzetta at our shop for a complimentary bottle of our famous, can't pronounce that, uh, famous liquor of some kind or wine. You won't regret it. See you later. <laughs> I am horrible at pronouncing things. Not even going to try. What we are going to do is turn that in, get the wine. Let's see, these explosives might come in really handy because they do AoE damage. So if I get a big pull or several things jump on me, it'll help me to damage a bunch of things. That's another reason I want to get into engineering because engineering you can craft stuff like that. Greetings and welcome, Master. Have you yet tried one of our fine wines? Ah, so you've seen Renato. We, well, here you are, sir, a bottle of our special wine. <laughs> You'll not find its equal in all of Azeroth. Be careful. Sure I won't. What are you looking for? I'm going to immediately sell it back to you. Thanks for that. Go with honor, friend. <laughs> Uh, that's great. That one in there is about uh, a little pet thing. I'm not too worried about that. Um, let's see. We can knock out a couple of other quick quests that just have you run around. I'm already honored. That would be because of the diplomacy. Reputation gains increased by 10%. That helps the human to gain a lot more reputation. You Good have day a quest. To you. We've been doing a lot of business lately. It seems like everyone is buying armor and sturdy clothes, almost like they expect a cold, harsh season ahead. But those are future worries. My worry today is that I'm running out of knitted clothing to sell. I need another load from our supplier. If you can take this request to Rima Schneider at the Canal Tailor and Fit Shop, I'd be most See grateful. Around. See, he's hinting at stuff. If you pay attention, since a lot of people are buying armor and very sturdy clothing, they're expecting cold, harsh times ahead. People are expecting terrible things, terrible, terrible things. So they're buying armor and hardy clothing. Good day to you. You bring word from Mr. Bagley? It says here that Harlan's business is booming. That's good news, but I wonder why people have need of all that armor. I've heard nothing of open war. Is there something the nobles aren't telling us? Well, thank you for bringing the request. Here's your payment, and I'll see to it that Harlan gets his supplies. Safe travels. Hello. My son Thurman is an apprentice. See at you later. What? Rude. <laughs> yes, yes. Tell your husband. Get his stuff together and deliver hey the supplies. My son Thurman is an apprentice at Larson's Clothiers in the Mage Quarter. Mage's Quarter. He was in a hurry today and forgot his shears and needles. I know a great rogue like you must have important task at hand, but without his tools, Thurman can't do his apprentice work. Please, Havoc, can you take my son's sewing kit to him? Larson's Clothier is one of the two clothier shops in the Mage's Quarter. It's the one deeper in near the Mage's Tower. Safe travels. Rima? You stand here doing nothing. Take your son, his supplies. Lazy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's waiting for that customer that never comes in the door to come in the door so she can make that great sell. I'll run this stuff to her son over here. It's not like I'm trying to save the world or anything. I mean, honestly, at this point... I'm just doing chores for different people, different families. What can I do to make your life a little bit better? How can I banish bandits off your property or deal with some giant pig eating all your stuff or some kid who took your necklace? <laughs> it's funny how they're in the middle of turbulent times and yet that the two families are feuding against one another out there in Elwyn Forest. Actually, it's not just the two, because she's mad at the Brackwells. 
Are you here to buy clothes? Oh, blast. I forgot. I thought forgetting my kit would free me from my work. Now I guess I'll have to help the Larsons with their sewing. Oh, well. Fun will come later, I guess. <laughs> Lazy little kid. Trying to get out of work by quote unquote forgetting his stuff. Okay. We're going to make our way over to the Dwarven District. That's where I'm going to pick up engineering and mess around with that. I do need to grab some stuff out of the mailbox along the way there to see what we get. Ooh, level 70 warrior. Wonder what he's crafting. Don't mind all of the people around here. We're going to start with that because I'm not necessarily going to do a whole ton of stuff. You know what? Let's get all the rough stone out. Oh, forget it. Let's just take it all. Why not? I definitely don't want it all at the top of my bag, though. I like to keep things down towards the bottom because as you pick things up they're going to fill in at the top and then I can just vendor all the stuff along the top and keep what I'm keeping on me down below. I am making way across the canals. We're heading there. There's some really interesting structures in Stormwind such as the stockades on the other side and I'm guessing this is an even more dangerous stockades because you can't even get to the entrance of this little prison type keep here in between the quarters which is cool I'm pretty sure the engineering trainers on the far back of this area. I love how they have it get hazy in here too. I've been invited to a guild, lost and found. I'm gonna decline for now. I may join a guild later. In fact, let me know what you guys think. Should I join a guild? Should I go it alone for a while and wait and see? Who knows? If I get enough people watching this and y'all like WoW and you like playing, maybe we start our own guild. We will find out. Hey! Prentice Engineer. Ooh, right here, Copper Bomb. 22 to 28 fire damage and in in incapacitates <laughs> targets at 3 yards race. It's a 1 second stun. That's cool. Some damage, one second stun. It's less damage than the rockets, but it has a little stun. That's cool. I have a blacksmithing hammer. Engineering. Let's see what we've got here. Blasting powder. Does this require you to be anywhere? It does not. See, I thought you might need an anvil or something. So I ran over to where there are anvils, right here. Oh, you can already make dynamite. Oh, dynamite. It's got a larger radius and more damage. Just takes a little bit of cloth, which I have plenty of, and then some blasting powder. How interesting. You see, none of these things require you to have an anvil nearby so I don't necessarily have to be over here I should have stayed by the trainer that's okay should we make some dynamite or just wait till after we use these 28 to 32 this is 26 to 34 it's got a slightly lower but also slightly higher in damage five yard radius is bigger wonder if we should just sell these and make some dynamite 
It does incapacitate them, but it does more damage than the bomb. I wonder what I would find more useful. The incapacitation for one second or the damage? Probably the damage. There's always utility in being able to stun every target in a three or five yard radius too. All right, let's get to 20 and then run back over there. I don't remember when you can start doing the bombs. It would be cool if the bombs did the same damage of the Pleased dynamite, but also stunned. So we're looking at 30. Got to get to 30. You know, if I was smart, I'd probably just make blasting powder until this is green or gray and then learn other things. So I can really stack the deck and get my engineering very high very quickly. And it seems like I'm probably going to use this blasting powder, yeah, rough blasting powder for bombs and for dynamite. Ooh, a boomstick. Copper tube, handful of copper bolts, wooden stock. Engineering 50 to make your spanner, arc light spanner. Interesting. I like all of these things. Okay, so it's gone green. I think I'm just going to wait till it goes gray completely. I'm fairly certain I'm going to make use of all this blasting powder. And if not, it's okay. It's just using rough stone. And rough stone is essentially very close to being garbage. It's only used to make a handful of things by blacksmiths and... Um, I don't know about jewel crafting though. Jewel crafting probably makes use of the rough stones too. I think I'm going to make some of the dynamite. I'm going to make dynamite and I'm going to sell these. They have a lower radius. need to get to 50 for this. That's not going to be a problem. I should probably go ahead and make some ammo. It's just at least one round of 200. And some of the dynamite. Boy, how long is that going to stay green? I'm guessing to 40 engineering. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> it's making a ton of it without it giving me any more progress towards higher engineering. Okay. That's enough of that. Give me some crafted light shot. I like it. And then dynamite. Probably make 10 because it makes two per if I'm reading this correct. Yes And then we're gonna use that dynamite I wonder what the cooldown on this is Because it does a ton of damage to everything in a radius So if the cooldown is not much that's going to be a, a good source of damage for me get wooden stock. Is that something this person sells? Or this person? Engineering supplies. Guarantee you they sell it. Alright, so those things Oh, that one requires an animal. Okay. Hi, how are you? Wooden stock. Boom. Off and away. Let's run over here to an anvil. So I can 
make some copper bolts. I need to learn how to make copper tubes and make me a gun. Of course, I don't know how to use a gun. Might be a problem. <laughs> You probably learn how to use guns in Iron Forge. Come on, give me the 50. There we go. My, you're a tall one. I'm a tall one. There we go. So I need to make a copper tube. And then I can turn around a weak flux from this you. guy. All right, even. We're gonna make our own gun and use our own gun in combat. That just sounds rewarding. Let's run over here, copper tube. Yeah. And then I also need to make. This this is the engineering tool. It needs to go beside my blacksmith's hammer. So that gets us situated to start with. I can always make more dynamite on the fly while we're out doing stuff. Greetings. Very good. But we're already here. Let's run over to the tram. I'm fairly certain you learn how to use guns from the dwarves. We're going to run over there and figure it out. To the tram. I like to run in between them just in case the one on the back side shows up first because it takes a little while for these to go back and forth. Any day now. Hey! And this one is the one that shows up, which is good. That way, when it's down to the other side, we'll be able to get off and run straight out. Of the tram. I'm gonna. I hate how the camera moves, but this part right here really is one of my favorites. Seeing the sunken ship and everything when you're passing underwater in the tram. I love that little part. And in the past, I've even jumped off there in order to see, look around there. We've made it. Do, 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 do. All right, so we're going to ask a guard somewhere, maybe right out here where the weapons trainer is. Well met. What 
weapons trainer. Keep your feet on the ground. Straight down the other way. Okay. Figures that would be how it is. My instincts tell me run up this way. Of course, if I was thinking that's the archaeology area, the Hall of Explorers, this is the military ward. You know, having the weapons trainer in the military ward, it's logical. I mean, I guess, sure. <laughs> Why not? Hot coals. Does this hurt you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it makes sense that it does. Just, just checking. Surprised it didn't just immediately kill me. Here, there. Guns. One-handed maces, fist weapons. Hey, good. Hey. I'm not too worried about that. Crossbows. Goodbye nope. now. I want to use guns, and. Swords. Swords, I think you learn in Stormwind. So we can grab that on our way back. Because that's going to be important. But now I can equip. If I hit the right buttons, hold on here. My gun. Which is going to bind it to me. Now look at this 10 to 19 damage. Which I know I could have bought. I could buy a better throwing knife. Oh, it has durability. Okay, so that's how it makes sense that you have 197 of 200 throwing knives. Okay. It makes sense. Oh, crap. I'm not going to make this for sure. Oh. <laughs> yep. Let's throw our ammo in there. That means that... This tram on the back side will be the next one to show up and I can ride it back. But, like I was saying, this is 10 to 19 damage. This is 1 to 2 damage. And yes, I know, I could have also just maybe gotten a better thrown weapon that has higher damage. But you can use different kind of ammo and plus, it's just cool shooting a gun. Why not? Why not get a gun if you can? And I can, so I did. But... That means I can no longer make use of throne. I need to get shoot. Put it there so I can pull stuff from ranged. Hey, hey. Alright. Now, we can also make bandages in the downtime. While we're just riding the tram here. Can I move this? Okay, no. So I can just look around and see what's going on. I almost expect to see, like, homeless gnomes <laughs> living down here. Because Gnomergon's been overrun. So the gnomes have been displaced. This seems like a place you could expect to see homeless gnomes. What's on this side? Some rocks, some bubbling things. A whole nother ship? Or is that just the other half of the ship is on the back side of the tram? I'm going to say it's the other half of the ship. Okay, that's enough bandages, I think. Eh, maybe we'll make a couple more. Might as well. I just don't want to use all the linen cloth for that because I'm also going to want more dynamite. So we will stop after this next bandage. Boom. Okay, we got plenty of bandages. We've got some ammo. We have a new gun, which we crafted ourselves. I think we can learn how to make a scope, too. I think I saw that. With another copper tube. I may want to do that and add the scope to the gun to get just that little bit of extra damage. Every bit helps. Every single bit of damage helps. run over here and see what it takes to make a scope. I think it takes a malachite, which I already have. Perfect. Let's just see what level in engineering we need to reach. Hi, how are you? Crude scope, 60. We only need to go seven more. Alright, so 
that's an easy fix. We just need to make some bombs. Oh, requires an anvil. Be seeing you. It's all right. It's all right. Some more copper bolts. And then the bombs. Oh, that worked out nice. That actually both times gave me a level up. I was not expecting that. That's why I crafted enough to do all seven. We're going to keep the bombs and the dynamite. We're just going to use everything. I'm certain these share a global cooldown for bombs as it would probably be really broken if you can use both of them at the same time because you could potentially get 28 and 34 damage at the same time that's need assistance i, I don't see that being a thing they allow <laughs> all righty then crude scope copper tube i need wheat flux i'm running off and would you like to purchase something no 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 Nope. Oh, I'm messing everything up. Hold Very on. Well, then. I want that. Making a special purchase? I want to sell that to you. Okay. Give me the weak Off flux. And away. Ooh, that was almost a disaster. <laughs> Turn over here. Copper tube. And then crude scope. And then probably just go ahead and make another bomb too, because that'll get rid of a handful of copper bolts that I don't need in my inventory. There you go, we've got the scope and everything. I feel like the, the strongest level 8 rogue there is. <laughs> But I do think that concludes our little engineering endeavor. We've got some toys to play with. We've got a few levels in there. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this gun and pulling some things. Scope adds plus one damage. Sounds good. Every little bit of damage extra sounds good. And yes I want to learn swords on the way out and then we're gonna head back out there and see what we can do about these quests we've done well we're helping everyone we can in Stormwind now we've already seen the soldiers are spread too thin they've gone everywhere and so there's a very dire need of heroes, of volunteers, vigilantes, whatever you want to call them. Right over here is the weapons trainer in Stormwind. What can I do for you? I'd like to use one-handed swords. Thank Life you, lesson. sir. That will come in very handy later on. Um, I don't want to carry all this around, so we will visit our bank right here and go ahead and deposit stuff. It's a pretty generous size bank to begin with. King's honor, friend. But I'm also going to purchase the first couple of slots, and I sent these two bags as well from my other character to help out and this way I don't have to carry around so many things we'll keep a little bit on me I think that's good we'll keep the rest with me Be careful shenanigans I like that gnome's name <laughs> All right, we've done well. Cooking, first aid, fishing, engineering, learn how to use guns. Oh, but my skill is one out of 40. 
So I should probably try and make sure that I use my gun to shoot lower enemies to begin with until I get my skill up. Otherwise I'm going to be missing a lot. It would be hilarious because if the rough boomstick had a chance to explode and damage you. That would be hilarious. Another interesting thing that I've got roll around in my mind. There are little critters, rabbits, deer. Can you gain skill? Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> sure enough, your skill in guns has gone up. <laughs> I won't kill the baby. Not with everybody watching, goodness. We'll get the rabbit though. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised that that increases your skill at all. Maybe just because I'm so low level it does. That poor sheep. Let's go ahead and get this cut purse, the robber. See, I missed them. That makes sense. Oh. I'm not going to get backstabbed on. Oh, I did! Okay, hold on. Let's test it out. Yes, so they both share a global cooldown for explosives. Ooh, it's a minute. Okay, so you're not going to be able to use that super frequently. I was expecting something along the lines of 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute quite a bit but I get it the their damage especially for my level right now is pretty insane you're talking about oh well, actually no two points in eviscerate but that does require you to gain skill points and then use energy this is just a click and boom blow something up so eh. maybe it's balanced all right, we're going to head over to see Guard Thomas. I love how I'm just running with my gun out. What is that, X to put that away? Z, Z is to put it away. X sits down, that's right. Okay. So, Guard Thomas... He's been stationed at the bridge. We're going to see him specifically because Remy two times is worried about Murlocs and the threat that they pose. So let's go see the big wigs over here. They don't think they're such a big threat, but he's going to let me be his errand boy anyways. Kind of you know, like, hey, listen, I ain't worried about it. I'm not sending troops over there, but if you... If you want to hike your butt over there and bring me a military report, not just a report from that merchant Remy, then we'll talk about it. If somebody's having a cow right now because I'm shooting all these rabbits. <laughs> it's easy skill ups. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> I need to get to where I can shoot the things that I want. They're just rabbits. They'll respawn. Somebody with a pet rabbit screaming right now. What do you mean, just rabbits? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll start using my gun on things that fight back here in just a minute. Now, I also love the crystal kelp quest there because he says the murlocs get it from the ocean but you're a little ways away from the ocean here you'd have to go all the way down to the bottom of Elwyn Forest and then all the way west over till Westfall keep going west until you hit the ocean so am I supposed to believe that the murlocs over here that have that kelp 
came all the way from the ocean and trekked all the way over here without getting eaten by bears. Well, take that back. They do travel in packs, so I don't know. Maybe it's possible. These silly murlocs. I also like the fact that not all the guards are the same level. This guy's only level 22. It makes sense. In real life, not everybody is as good at everything as other people are. Some people are better soldiers. See, these are level 24, 25, 22. Light be with you. Oh, goodness. Guard Thomas is level 30. Look at him go. I guess that's why he's in charge over here. Yes, Murlocs have settled in and around the streams of Eastern Elwyn. We don't know why they are here, but they are aggressive and at least semi-intelligent. A few days ago, we sent two guards, Rolf and Malachi, to investigate along the river, and they have not yet returned to, compete, to complete my report. I must know what happened to those men. Travel north along the river and find the guards or, the Alliance. or their remains. Greetings. Hail, have it. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive the farther we get from Goldshire, and the Eastvale logging camp suffers nearly constant attacks from wolves and bears. We could use your help out here. Go with honor, friend. Sounds good. We're going to kill wolves and bears. We're going to make it happen. And we're going to find what's left of Rolf and Malachi. I don't want to use that on him, I want to use it on me. Buff me. Alright, young forest bear. Let's do this thing. Can I get another shot off? Is that possible? Oh yeah! I should save the dynamite for when I have a bunch of mobs around me. I just wanted to play with it. It was fun. There's one out of five young forest bears thinned out. I don't think those are the right wolves. I think the wolves I need are over there, which is fine. We're just going to run right up the water. Stone Cairn Lake. And what do we have here? Some meat, half-eaten body. There's armor here. Although much has been stripped from the corpse, strewn nearby is a medallion with the words Footman Malachi Stone etched upon it. Upon further search of the area, you find webbed footprints leading east along the shore of Stonecarn Lake. In the distance to the east, you see just barely a Murloc village. Perhaps Rolf's fate ended there. Poor guys. They weren't taking the murloc threat seriously. And so they paid. The ultimate price. This guy is level 10. I did that with not enough energy. Okay. Comes back pretty fast. Probably going to want to get all five points and then eviscerate. Holy cow, and it still didn't do a lot of damage. Wow. Almost died from one level 10 Merlot. <laughs> okay, let's not grab more than one of these guys. They hurt. In fact, let's try and level up on something like this wolf. Can I sneak up and get him? Open up with a good backstab. Nope. Okay, that's fine. I leveled up from discovering the, lo discovering the logging camp anyways. What do you 
me dodge. <laughs> Nonsense. What? Goodness. I am not having much luck here. Trying to get back to closer to full health. Here we go. Run back. Do a little more damage. I need a better weapon. <laughs> I need more damage. Come on. There we go. Wow, yeah, I definitely feel like they are starting to hurt a lot more. I was worried I was not getting that backstab off. That's good. Give me some crits. Yes. Thank you. Alright. I don't really need to fight a lot of the Murlocs. I already know Rolf's body is further north. Let's do this. He blocked it. I was already starting to move through him to get to the backside, but that didn't matter. All right, let's see. What kind of damage do we get? 46. It's interesting. Ooh, you're only level 9. If you look at it, I'm doing 7 to 13 damage with the other ones. We're going to bandage because I'm a little concerned. <laughs> oh, he could drink a potion. Oh, okay. Ooh, 103. That's not bad. But my gun actually does pretty decent damage opening the fight up with a couple of shots from it. Get some good damage in before they get anywhere near me. 11, 20. That's a 61 human warrior. What are you doing over here with the Murlocs? Murder. Uh. You find around the neck of the corpse a metal medallion inscribed with the words Footman Rolf. Now that you've both medallions delivered the guard Thomas at the bridge so that he might know the fate of his murdered guards. <laughs> All right, a little bit of assistance from that random person there. Very thankful, helps out. Back to the grind here. We need to grab the quest in this area. That way we can be doing more while we're out here fighting these bears and prowlers. Yes, they're called prowlers. All right. I feel much more confidence in my ability here. In fact, I'm going to pop evasion. You're going to miss me. For a few seconds. Ow. 
And then I'm gonna blow you up with my combo finish. Boom. I can cook this stringy wolf meat as well, so we're gonna move that down. Poor storm wind guards. They had a rough fate. Supervisor Raylan. You need something? I've got a real problem on my hands. I have a deadline looming for an order of lumber and I'm running out of time. The wolves and bears north of here have chased my workers away from their from the bundles of wood that they have already chopped. I've already talked to Deputy Rayner about clearing the animals, but I need someone to go and collect wood for me. If you could collect eight bundles of wood for me, I might just make my deadline. Safe travels. All right. We got to pick up the wood and clear out the predators from the area. It says there's a quest up here. There is a quest up here. All right. One second. All right. We had a brief intermission there for you in the video. <laughs> I had to Hearthstone back to Goldshire and log out for a while. It's been a couple of days. I've got lots of rested experience and I have run my Happy Hind in back out here to the logging camp where we will continue where we left off roughly. Uh, experience is going to go a little bit faster because we're now rested experience for logging out and an in, which definitely helps. And we're going to come back over here and see what. Marshall Haggard has for Thanks us. Honor, friend. Looks to me you've seen quite a bit of combat in your time, Rogue. If you haven't already, you should report to Grian Stout Mantle. He heads up the People's Militia aimed at protecting the farmlands of Westfall. I bet he could use your help. You can usually find him in the Stone Tower on Sentinel Hill, just off the road in the middle of Westfall. Light bless you. All right, so that's leading us into the next zone. There's red linen goods over here. I also need to repair my dagger. Which I think you can repair up here in the sawmill, possibly. But we're going to run over here and get the red linen's goods quest. Because we're going to be doing things in this area anyways. And just keep rocking on. King's honor, friend. The Defias gang in Norshar wears burlap mask, but the Defias and Elwyn wear linen, which I can use to make fine linen goods. Bring me red linen bandanas, and I'll use them to fashion something for you. Defias gang members have camps pocketed throughout Elwyn. Be careful. All right, look at her. She's ingenuitive, going to make use of the bad guy's flagship apparel to make other useful items. Let's head up here to the sawmill and see about repairing our dagger. I think one of these people does repairing. Or I'm wrong. There may not be anyone around here that does repairing. Here we go. Okay. The bowyer. How are you? Thank you. Let's sell garbage. See the potion's you. not really garbage, but we're going to sell it anyways because I have better potions. And back to killing prowlers and bears, and we will grab our bundles of wood at the same time. I think there are a couple of bears over in this direction. Oh, he spotted me. Had to stop moving. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I was going to gouge, run behind, and backstab, but when I gouged, he spun around. Interesting. And then there's one last bear. We're going to shoot him. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. <laughs> that can be tricky. Fancy feet. Alright, that's all the bears. Let's grab the bundles of wood. Prowlers are everywhere. I could go ahead and kill a few of these. I definitely would like to move a little faster while stealth, but we'll see if I get the talents for that or not. Seems like that turnaround bug when you stun things or incapacitate them is fairly common. Yeah, I definitely need to keybind stealth to something. You see nothing. Oh, well, maybe you do see something. <laughs> All right, yeah, I thought I saw a bundle of wood sitting on the ground over here. Just kind of spotting around the base of the trees. Seeing what I can find. There's one. So these guys were chopping wood from these giant trees and got scared off by some bears and wolves. How interesting. It's okay. There's a small army of you, but this one rogue will go around here and do it all for you. <laughs> go back to what you were doing, Prowler. There you go. Hmm. I didn't feel like that was a very effective backstab. Of course, it's probably because of my weapons. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to rely on backstab damage anyways because I will be transitioning to swords and requires daggers to do backstabs. Uh oh, I've got competition for the wood bundles. This isn't going to go well. I see one right there. Make sure that other guy's not run into it. I don't want to be that guy that just runs in front of him, grabbing all of the objectives. Ooh, there's one right there and one right there. Found the mother load over here. And this is right beside them. You can't tell me they're too afraid to walk over here. These guys are just lazy. That's what it is. They're too lazy to walk up here and get the wood. So they say they're afraid of the bears and the wolves. One more. Oh yes, I also have dynamite. Get some extra damage output. Do I need more prowlers? I need one more prowler. Grab that last prowler right here. I'm shooting it just for the fun of it. They got too close. <laughs> I crafted my gun. I want to have some fun with it.
There we go. Is that any good? 38 leather. It's slightly better than the boots that I have. It's a strange color, but we're going to go with it. We like it. <laughs> All right. Light be with you. All right. That deadline isn't I'll getting any then. further away, Rogue. Please hurry and collect those bundles of wood. Excellent. Thank you. I should be able to complete the order in time. To show my gratitude, I would like to offer you some coin as compensation for your troubles. Thank you and Go far honor, farewell. Friend. Farewell. <laughs> Okay, red linen bandanas, those are the camps all over the place that's showing. We're just going to go down here because we need to talk to the guard at the bridge along the way. Guard Thomas, I believe was his name, and let him know we found the medallions of his poor friends and that the Murlocs are evil, they killed them, ate their bodies. Evil little murlocs. Then I think we're going to get some serious consideration from the marshal back in Goldshire. He's going to realize they really are a threat. <laughs> Light be with you. Thanks a lot for the help, Havoc. Something in the forest must be making those animals so bold. Whatever it is, I hope it stays there. Have you discovered the fates of Rolf and Malachi? You have confirmed my fears, Havoc. The Murlocs are a great threat we cannot ignore. Go with honor, friend. Tell Marshal Dugan of Malachi and Rolf's deaths and report to him that the Murlocs in Eastern Elwyn cannot be contained by our current troop presence. I know we don't have many troops to spare, but hopefully Dugan can find someone. For the Alliance. Hold on here. Hold on here. Guard Thomas, you're level 30. Well met. Scar is level 25. What can I do for you? He's level 25. This is 24. This is 25. You mean to tell me you couldn't just walk out and massacre that Murloc encampment? They don't have enough guards here. They're understaffed. <laughs> oh... The silliness in it, if you sit and think about it logically for a minute here. Oh, what's going on here? This may not be the place to get the red other bandanas. It seems like there's competition in the area. Let's sneak in here, see what's going on. I knew there'd be someone in here. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. This lady didn't know what hit her. Yeah, we won't stealth. I'm not going to rely on that as a method for combat. Need to learn a rotation without stealth. As a rogue. <laughs> Ignoring stealth. A very integral part of your kit, your build. That also means I won't be able to do this, knock them out and run behind. Or I won't need to do that, I should say. But as I level up, I'll get more abilities that allow me to do other things than that. Ooh, knock me right on my butt with a snap kick. Hmm... Can we handle two at once? Uh, he may get far enough away. Perfect. We probably could have handled two at once. I have evasion. I have dynamite bombs. We could have done it, but it's okay. level up I'll get my first talent point all right 
it. I think we're going to mosey this way, try and get some bandanas a little closer. Let's go ahead and use a Lion Strength Potion. I wonder how much experience this bear is worth. 180. That's not bad. I think I will kill a bear or two along the way. Of course, I'm going to get a good bit of experience from the people in the camps, too. The Defias, as I take their linen bandanas. Ooh, 99 damage. I'm used to pathing this way on mining characters, grabbing these copper veins for low level things. And then there's the little camp right over here at the docks where there's Defias I can use to get the bandanas and pop back up to Goldshire. All the goodies. Wonder how much strength actually does for me. So 33 strength increases attack power by 23. I'm not sure what that math is. It's a little bit over two thirds, because one third would be 11. Two thirds would be 22. So it's just one point more than two thirds of your strength becomes attack power. Whoop, I hear you, bear. Was not sure if I was going to be within range to aggro you or not. Camp of three people. One of them's a spellcaster. That's the only part about it that is a little frightening to me. The spellcaster is probably going to hurt a lot. Early game, you don't have many resistances. Yep. So over here, your arcane resistance, I don't have any, which means I take full damage from spells. You have armor from your armor, which reduces physical damage, but I have nothing to reduce magical damage right now. That's why they hurt so bad. Right in the face. What? I stunned him. <laughs> I stunned him and then started bandaging and he snapped out of the stun immediately and hit me. Interesting. Very interesting. I was going to try and be sneaky and get a little health back during the fight. This isn't going to work. Oh, it worked right in her face. See, she actually blocked it. The other one, I don't think he blocked it, but I didn't honestly pay attention because I was already thinking about bandaging. I think we'll just try and burst them down. And level up. 
All right, two more bandages, and then we're going to head to Goldshire. <laughs> Ooh, and talent points. Combat. Reduce the energy cost of your Sinister Strike. I mean, I don't see any way that's not good in increasing my dodge. Let's get Sinister Strike cheaper. Hey, man. I see your bandana. <laughs> How do you not drop it? Ooh. Drop rate woes. Westfall is on its way. <laughs> oh. It's a party at the bottom of that hill and I don't want anything to do with those guys <laughs> while I'm fighting him. Well, or all three of them at once anyways. <laughs> level 10, two level 9 bandits. My brain keeps saying, give it a try. And then at the same time, and you will die. <laughs> Considering maybe if I get training, my level 10 training, go back and burst the mage out first. I, I almost want to test it. But at the same time, I don't. I do have evasion. I wonder if I can take on these three guys or people. Let's see. Pop evasion right now. Pop a potion in just a second. Oh, yeah, with all my little tricks. I can handle three things at once, as long as I have a potion, evasion, and bombs all ready at the same time. And I get one bandana from these guys. Goodness. Goodness gracious. I know there's a couple more down here, and then I think there's a rare or elite in the house. I can't remember. I really don't want to mess with an elite if it's an elite. I'm thinking it's a rare, though. <laughs> now I'm thinking maybe if I have evasion, my potion, burst the mage out, stealth in, burst the mage out, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Let's run up to Goldshire. These things are responding respawning and they take a little while there's usually one or two floating in this area we will try and snag our last bandana off of one of them if we can there's one of course I'm more likely to aggro the bear first and there's another one surely one of you two will have a bandana I can use That kick, though, looks brutal. Oh, I got excited. I saw the red potion. <laughs> and thought to myself, how fortuitous that I grab it on the way out. No, of course not. 
it's a potion. You? Yes! Okay. There we go. Wow, rested experience does not last very long at low levels. <laughs> I was it has been several days in between recording this. And it's not a lot of rested experience. I'm not sure how that mechanic works exactly. Maybe you can only get so much at low levels. Alrighty. Need help? Mm -hmm. This news is troubling. Already our defenses are stretched thin, and losing Rolf and Malachi to those murlocs put us in an even worse position. If things don't improve, there will be fighting in Goldshire by weeks by the week's end. For your shrewdness and valor, I have a marker here that is good for one piece of armor. I want you to take it to Sarah Timberlane at the Eastfell Logging Camp. Give her the marker and she will fashion the armor for you. And after you receive it, have it. Use it in the defense of Elwyn. The Eastfell Logging Camp is beyond Guard Thomas's post to the east. Go with honor, friend. I know, my friend. I was there. Let's see what we have going on in the end get our training oh that ledge on the door need help slice and dice ooh sprint oh that'll be nice and dual wield sap requires stealth all incredibly good Farewell. and useful things Let's see, I'm going to sell all of this, and Hello. let's see what our quest is. The badge? Oh, it's nothing. Fish. Nothing you could handle anyhow. By the looks of you, I'd say Matthias is likely to mistake you for the cheese delivery boy instead of a proper rogue. Regardless, I've been assigned a job, and I've made a promise to deliver on that job. Speaking of which, deliver this package to Matthias, and he may give you a small task or two. Get cracking. Safe travels. She's commenting about my top. I look like the cheese delivery boy. Look at this. This is not armor. <laughs> this, this is a sad fashion statement. Alright, let's see. Let's make a couple more of these real quick. I hit level 10, so I think I can train. I'm not sure if she can do the next level. Shift these things around here. The bandages will most certainly help. Hello. She can teach you journeyman, but you can't get wool bandage. See Is that around. 80? Okay. Well, that's all right. We're not too worried about it. We'll get it along the way. So. We have to run back there and take care of a couple of quests, but before we do that, fishing and cooking is something that we should definitely work on, and getting these cooking recipes that go along with fishing are really going to help. So the brilliant small fish and the long jaw mud snapper. Be careful. I can't learn that one yet because I have to get my cooking to 50, but we're going to do that very easily. What are you looking for? Let's go do a little bit of fishing. Light bless you. And there will be timestamps um, and the little elements at the bottom of the video. So if you're not interested in watching fishing at all, you think it's boring, or whatnot, you can skip right on through to the next section. Anything so far that you really find boring. But I do want to get the full experience of leveling a character, all professions caught on video, for the people that do enjoy it. And we're just going to roll out here and do a little fishing. I'm probably going to talk a little bit less while fishing. Make it a more relaxing experience.
We're level 60 out here fishing. We won't talk about their name. <laughs> uh, and I don't have any fishing bobbers that I can use at my level in fishing. So this is going to be a little rough to begin with, with fish getting away frequently. But we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Enjoy the wonderful watery sounds over here. I do like how every single catch at the low level gives you fishing experience, levels up your fishing skill. Anyone who's leveled fishing before knows once you start getting to the upper levels you're catching seven, eight, nine fish between gaining a level. Which can turn leveling into something that takes a few minutes to something that takes hours. <laughs> Also, I'm not sure how safe it is to have this open flame here on the dock. <laughs> For some reason, I always remember these being lanterns, but this is just some weird design and an open flame inside of it on a wooden dock. I guess they're thinking, hey, it's in the water, it can't burn, right? That and then the poor sunken boat next to mat here fishing trainer fishmonger I'm fairly certain we're going to be able to use fish to level us along with cooking in order to get our cooking up pretty much the entire way. It's been a little bit since I've done it. I'm not sure if you have to do other recipes in between. And if we do, that's fine. There are some good recipes that you can do that help level it up, that you're going to get the ingredients while you're out questing anyways from killing mobs. And we will make use of those. Off the top of my head I'm thinking about the Gore Tusk Liver Pies from Westfall, the Red Ridge Goulash, you get a lot of those recipes, recipe ingredients while you're just out questing in the zone. And that will help out greatly. Not to mention the well-fed buff is it's too good to not use, not utilize. You need all the buffs you can get in vanilla. Vanilla classic, I should say, because this is not vanilla. Wow, this is TBC. 
Classic. I don't think I'm going to get the recipe from here for these, the slither skin mackerels. Something tells me that's another starting area that probably has those that you get the recipe from there. And that's quite alright with me. I'm catching lots and lots of the brilliant small fish. I've never competed in the Stranglethorn Vale fishing tournament. I know you get a very, very good fishing rod from it and a couple of other things. If any of you have, if any of you have won it, say so in the comments because that's pretty impressive. I've seen some of the competition in that and it looks crazy. And I just think it's rather cool that it exists in the first place. Because when I used to play WoW back in the day, I never saw fishing as something very serious. I did some fishing. Look at that. Minor health potion, healing potion. But it was never something that I thought took skill. There was any skill expression in it. Because you just wait for it to splash and then you click on it. But there is... At the upper levels, there's some interesting things. Fish that are only caught in certain points of the day. Fish that are only caught in special events. And the fish that require you to have skill higher than the cap that you can actually get as a character. So you have to have enchanted gear or better fishing rods. In order to make sure that you don't miss or make sure that the fish doesn't get away. Just always aggravating. Our level 60 fishing companion is gone. <laughs> We're here all by our lonesome. Hmm. This is a little bit of a waste of the duration of my lesser strength potion, but it'll be okay. I'm not that hurt about it. Turns my character around. <laughs> oh. Just playing with the camera, that's all. To get a little different angle on my fishing experience. 
but it moves my character if I hold both my left and right click down or actually just my right click down is what moves the character and you have to right click the little bobber mm. So I have to get enough to get my cooking all the way to 50, which I don't know if that's going to happen from these small brilliant fish. I think it'll go green before then, but I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to start cooking from the bottom and work my way up. I don't know. These may all turn yellow and then all turn green at the same time because they are the same tier cooking recipes I guess you could say I'm trying to think of how to word that exactly I'm surprised I haven't caught there are special fish you get I don't know if you can catch them this low they it's like 14 pound something now there you can hold in your offhand some of them are weapons I think I don't remember if those are in classic or not I'm fairly certain they are but later on and wow on retail there's achievements for catching those extra fish from different areas I love the quick casts when they bite really soon after tossing it out there. And then right after I say that, this one's going to take forever. <laughs> you like what now? None for you. None. I have quite a good number of the raw long jaw mud snapper now. We'll see how far this gets us momentarily when we start cooking. None of these give a well fed, oh wait, okay, the eggs give a well fed buff, but the eggs require mild spices, which I do not have, well, and small eggs for that matter, you know, kind of an important part of herb baked eggs is a, the eggs part, but you know, it's a minor detail, it's a minor detail. <laughs> We've almost made it to 75, we're at 63 fishing. I'm going to get to 75, get our cooking up there as far as I can with what we have. I 
and then we will head back out to the Eastbound logging camp. Talk to Guard Thomas. Talk to Timberlane. Get our armor marker and turn in the red linen bandanas for her. Maybe she can make us something good. I believe I usually take the belt because at this point I would normally not have a good belt, but this one has 19 armor on it. It may be better just to stick with the belt that I have on. We'll see. I like the little birds flying around. The, just the little ambiance things that they do. Ooh, accidentally clicked. I'm surprised that's the first time. That's what I get for getting distracted with all of what's going around instead of what's going on there. Like the fireflies over here around the grass. <laughs> Having an ADD moment. I think a lot of people rush through the game to get to end game and they probably have not even noticed little extras like the fireflies there probably the birds because the birds kind of fly around in your face and whatnot so I can see people noticing them but the fireflies the difference in foliage that's around here from one area to another I wonder if some people even notice that while they're breezing through running, not even reading quests. <laughs> Hit max level and say, I have no idea what I did, how I got here, or, or who we're fighting. Unless the quest says, go kill six of these, and then I go do that. There we go. That's fishing how 75. We're going to go ahead and get travel. the next level, but we're not going to work on it right here. Let's head back to the inn. Slice and dice. What did we get here? Sprint. Uh, probably put that there. And sap. Mm, I'm going to mess around with placement of my abilities later. Right now, I don't really know where I want things. Hello. Alright, spice bread. No, I'm good. Stringy wolf Have a good meat. One. So let's save the stringy wolf meat then. Since that can be used for something else. But let's start with the boar meat. Simple and easy. And then cook up all of these fish. Then I can turn around and sell this stuff. Because it doesn't give me a well-fed buff. There's no reason in me carrying it. Really? It's the same price cooked as it is raw? That's interesting. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We won't complain about it. This will free up from bag space for a few things here. And these uh, cooking ingredients too. Be able to move that stringy wolf meat out. Let's see. Just reorganize a little bit here. That should be good. I'll cook all of these and then sell everything. This works so much faster. It's guaranteed. It's not like fishing where you can miss your fish or they can take longer. It just burns right through and does everything it needs to do.
Is it going to stay orange all the way until 50? If it does, that's crazy. It looks like it because it's already in the 40s. Usually, well, again, it's higher levels I'm thinking about. When you get to cooking recipes later on, you go 10 levels at an orange, like maybe another 10 or 5 levels at yellow, and then it turns green for 5 levels and then gray. So you can't just cook tons of one thing and level up a bunch. But this is the lower level cooking. It's working out well for me. We hit 50. We should be able to learn some recipes, including this one. Hey there. See you around. All right. We will use these yellow recipes first. Oh, hold on. Mild spices I will make that trade for the alliance into something that I can use. Greetings. General supplies. Do you have mild spices? Go with honor, friend. Good day to you. Have a good one. Am I gonna have to run out here to next to Remy two times <laughs> to get some mild spices? I only need seven, and then I can make the spiced wolf meat, and this will give me my first buff. Need help? Here we go. Be careful. That'll help a lot. Gain two stamina, two spirit. It doesn't sound like a lot, but every single stat low level helps. We'll keep this down here. Probably put it there. I usually try and keep my food and drink here, but... I don't have mana, so I don't need a drink. I guess there's energy drinks, <laughs> energy tea, that help you re regain energy. I'll probably put that down here, maybe. Somewhere. Alright. Well, this is going to work out nicely. We'll get clam meat, which is probably going to be our next best, or coyote meat, because that requires water and the clam meat. The coyote meat's just coyotes, and we'll get those in Westfall. So that's probably what we'll start cooking, and then we get four stamina, four spirit. This is going to get us really high with the cooking because we had the ingredients from looting as well as fishing. And then I'm just going to turn around and sell all of these cooked variants. Good day to you. Safe travels. Light be with you. Okay. With the fishing and cooking out of the way, we are looking good in those areas. We can start running our hind ends back out here. It's a bit of a hike, but now we have sprint. What's the cooldown on this? Five minutes. Oh, that just feels good. It feels right being able to run faster, even for a brief moment. Look at the ground we covered. Look at it. <laughs> now just, you know, the rest of the way. All right, I am pleased with that, though. We got our fishing up. We got our cooking up. We have... A food that gives us the well-fed buff, as well as obviously getting our health back. We can head out here, see what's going on. I want to wrap up 
the quest here in Elwyn before I go check out whatever Matthias Shaw has for us in SI7. And I probably want to poke my head down in here and around this area. Just discover the full map. we have here level 16 shaman <laughs> people's names for their characters my goodness I don't know how some of these names have not been banned or warned or whatever you call it <laughs> That's the beauty of playing a massively multiplayer game. You get all kinds of people with all kinds of humors, senses of humor. Hey, a druid. Level 11. Alright, Guard Thomas, what do you have for me? What can I do for you? The Stormwind Army has placed a bounty on Murloc lurkers and foragers in L1. Slaughter them and bring me their torn Murloc fins, and the Stormwind Army will reward you well. The Murlocs have built a village at Stonecarn Lake north of here, and another to the south where the stream forks. Hey, hey. Our first sword we can get. I'll probably put the sword in my main hand and then dagger in the off hand. And actually, can I use swords yet? Yes, that's right. I did get that training. Wonderful. I'll be horrible with swords when I equip it because I have no skill in it. But that's okay. There are plenty of targets <laughs> like we did with our gun. Speaking of, hold on. Guns are at 41 out of 50. Not bad. Not bad. Greetings. I have been commissioned by the Stormwind Army to supply their people with cloth and leather armor. If you have a marker for me, I'd be happy to make you something. I sure do. Thank you for the marker. Pills, please feel free to pick your choice of armor. Luck to you, brave rogue, and may this armor serve you well. Hey, hey, 46 armor. Ah, these are nice bandanas, if a little rough. Here you are. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with the. Oh, you Farewell. get both of them. That's right. We're gonna equip the shirt, and look all goofy, all kinds of goofy. You know, we're we're taking that shirt off right now. It it can't be worn. <laughs> I just can't do it. I'd rather see my arms. Alright. Let's go up here. Take care of some murlocs. I don't remember if the murloc fins are a problem. Mm, the, I'm talking about the drop rate. <laughs> I don't remember if they have a horrible drop rate or a decent drop rate. We're going to find out right now. Is this wolf going to follow me all the way up here? No. Okay, good. A little bit closer. Now, these guys drink potions. But I can stun him before he can drink it. Which should interrupt him. Or I can just blow him up too. That that works. That works nicely. I could rather use slice and dice. Um, you hurt a lot. I'm gonna have to use a potion. Okay. 
Yeah, slice and dice will increase my attack speed. And it lasts longer. So the points are per target, but the attack speed boost from slice and dice can get me from one fight to the next, maybe six seconds. <laughs> These guys do a decent amount of damage. Where are you all at? Usually there are a few around here trying to be cautious. Pull him back a little bit. Oh. Didn't even see that guy. <laughs> Gonna back right up into another Murloc. And things are not gonna go well. Absolutely one of the most iconic mobs and sounds to this game. These goofy little murlocs. Oh, no, he's gonna get it off. He resisted. Who's gonna die? Am I gonna die or is he gonna die? <laughs> Let's play who's gonna die? Goodness gracious. I was pretty concerned there that it was gonna be me that dies. <laughs> Got my well fed buff. Was considering if I needed four or five points to get a good execution. Ooh, a chest. Earthroot might be valuable on the auction house. Then I'll vendor the other things. Oh, I try and move last minute because you can get away with that. Oh boy. We are going to pop evasion. Give me enough time to... Oh, come on. I didn't even notice that guy. Uh, I don't know if this is going to end well. Oh, he dodged that. Do a little bit of tricky maneuvering. There we go. Kiting on a rogue. Kiting on a melee class. How interesting. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why am I missing so much? What is going on here? have been a good idea to keep a little bit of that food that didn't give a buff just to heal back up but that's okay it 
It's not a necessity, it's just something I was thinking about just then. In between fights. Oh, that's not good. I don't need you dodging damage. Or parrying. None of those are good things. <laughs> We're going to make use of this. Ooh, sword. There we go. 2.5. Okay, so let's equip that. And then put the dagger in offhand. I think things will go a lot better for us now. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I have no skill with swords. <laughs> so I'm gonna <laughs> miss and parry everything. Look at that experience gain though with slice and dice. That and the fact that I have an ability that counts as a hit every time. That's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Where's this little guy at? You can drink a potion, it doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Just means you have that much more health for me to keep bashing you with my sword. Slicing you, I should say. Bashing something you do with a mace. Oh, hello. I knew it. I was hoping I could get away without... Attracting the other one's attention here. There's a lot of you guys patrolling around. little bit of bandaging. I am really close to several. Okay. We're all good now. Surprised that went off. I was waiting for it to say too close. Well, it was definitely less of a hassle to level up sword skill than I was expecting. <laughs> When I pulled that first one and rem and saw that I had forgotten to skill up swords, I thought for sure I was going to have a really rough time. A green axe. Too bad I didn't get a green sword or dagger. Eight of eight fins. That's great. My sword skill is already almost up to par with my other skills. Uh, think we can sneak by here and go back down to see the guard. He may have a sword better than this one, or we may just take a better dagger for our off hand. Off hand. We'll see what he has when we get down here. And then that should wrap up things on the eastern side of Elwyn. And we can go over to Westbrook. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. I can definitely feel the difference in the damage output. Dual welding and... Having a sword in my main hand. Because this is 3 to 7 damage. This is 2 to 4. Need 
help? Nope. You're the one that needed the help. 4.3. This one says main hand. What do I currently have? It says main hand. So that's a significant damage increase. We're going to go with the Be sword. Be careful. And we can't equip this up in an offhand, but that's okay. All right, we took care of the Murloc Menace. Let's sprint and head back this way. I am almost level 11. That rested experience bit was very helpful in moving us forward. I don't think this sword is, or excuse me, this axe is something that's auction house worthy, so I'm just going to vendor it for a little bit of money. It is a green, but it's not, I don't believe it's a twink item of any kind. It's only a level six. And for anyone who doesn't know what a twink is, a twink is someone that gets their character to the highest point of a certain tier of PvP. So from level 10 to 19, they would be level 19 and stop leveling and gear themselves with the best possible gear, best possible enchants. So they are the most powerful they can be at that level in play. That's a twink. Galadriel. <laughs> Human Paladin. Oh no. We forgot to get that little section of the map discovered while we were right here. It's okay. I'm not running back now. I'm more than halfway. Well, to Goldshire. Probably halfway-ish to Westbrook, but <laughs> I'm not turning around. I like details for this right here. I can see exactly what is doing the most damage. My straight melee did 108 in the last fight, Sinister Strike did 81, and then Eviscerate did 37. For a total of 226 damage at 23 DPS, which means it took a little bit less than 10 seconds for that fight. Math. Let's go ahead and sell while we're here. I supply only the finest goods. I'm glad you supply only the, the finest alliance. goods. I wonder if there's a dagger in here that's better than the dagger I have. Do do weaponsmith? What are you looking for? Three to seven damage. I've got two to four. We're gonna grab it. Have a Just good one. that little bit of extra damage. Well Can I help you? Elamore's task. He wants you to go to the Dorvan district in Stormwind. There are there's a Dorvan weaponsmith in Stormwind, Grimmond Elmore, who sent word that he needs help with a delivery. I believe he wants a package sent to his homeland in the north. You have a sturdy pair on you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Argus. Calm down, sir. That's a bit forward. <laughs> so, if you're interested in some legwork, then speak with Grimmond. We could use you down here, but we must also keep our ties strong with the dwarves. You can find Grimmond Almore in the weapon shop, at the weapon shop, in the Dwarven district of Stormwind in the northeastern section of town. Be careful. We will accept that because we will be going to Stormwind after we finish around here to go to speak to SI7, Matthias. But I'm not trekking all the way to the Dwarven area. We'll just turn it in in Stormwind and drop it there for now. Defies cut purses everywhere. 
It's crazy to see how just outside the gates of the capital city there could be so many criminals. That's the best word for us. Trying to think of a good way to describe them. I think I have to discover the orchard to uncover this part of the map. Or is it the lake? Come on now. Hey, sprints back up. You just want to die, don't you? And your friend, too. All I want to do is uncover this section of the map while I'm in the area. Rude people. That still didn't do it. What's the house over there? I don't know. But I'm not that interested in it that I'm going to go all the way across there to uncover that. We will keep on keeping on. I was just going to leave the loot and my brain said there could be a green. <laughs> there could be the chance of something nice on that and you just walk away from it. I couldn't bear the thought of potentially a green sword or dagger and me walking away from it. Here we are, Westbrook Garrison. King's honor, friend. Marshal Dugan sent you, eh? Well, you're not from the army, but if Dugan sent you, then that's good enough for me. Our situation is, to say the least, a stressed one. I hope you can give us a hand. I mean, it's a good thing I'm not actually a spy. Life bless you. <laughs> You're not in the army, but uh, whatever. The marshal sent you. I just said the marshal sent me. I bring some papers over here. Knolls, brutish creatures with no decent business in these lands. You have been seen along... Not you. The Knolls have been seen along the borders of Ellen Forest. A large pack of them, many more than we can handle alone, have infested the woods south of the guard tower yonder another group has infested the areas north of stone car and lake to the east Stormin army will command whomever helps kill them will commend whomever helps kill them bring me their painted knoll armbands as proof of your Go deed honor, wanted hogger a huge knoll hogger is prowling the woods in southwestern elwyn he has overpowered all attempts at his capture. The Stormwind Army has placed a generous bounty on the Knoll. To earn the reward, bounty hunters should bring proof of Hogger's demise to Marshal Dugan in Goldshire. Got it. Alright. South of the guard tower, yonder, he said. <laughs> I guess we're going past yonder here. Again, look at the level of these guys. You're in the 20s, and there's a whole slew of you. What do you mean you can't handle the gnolls? Lazy. I've got a feeling the Stormwind army is not spread thin. It's just lazy incompetence. Don't let them hear that I said that. But that's between us. An armband on my first kill. That's some good luck. Oh boy. It never happens like that. Back to back. <laughs> Getting the armbands. Let's see what happens this time. Oh, see, I knew it. It could not continue. Oop. Oh, thought he was going to walk into that camp right as I shot him. I don't. 
do not want to take on too many of these gnolls at one time. Three is probably too many. These guys... Are these the ones that run off when they get low health? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright. I have evasion, explosives, potions. I think we can take on this camp. Go ahead and get slice and dice up. Oh. Pop evasion. I may not even need a potion. Oh yeah. Not bad at all. So I did have to use an explosive and evasion. But I did not have to use a potion. And that was a camp of three. Just got to do a little kiting. I had that first one injured pretty well before I even got into melee range. Which definitely helps. You do just a little bit of kiting backwards to interrupt. They have to walk forward while I, my abilities are on cooldown. I can back away. I'm getting these armbands pretty easily. I just <laughs> just jinxed it for sure. No? Okay. Let's see if we can make our way towards where Hogger likes to hang out. I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to take Hogger. I may need to wait for my evasion to be back up before I fight with Hogger. If memory serves me right, he hits pretty hard. Like getting hit by a truck. And I would rather avoid as many of those attacks as I can. Ooh, hunting rifle. Not as good as the one I made. Sharpened letter opener. That's a sad excuse for a dagger. Here you come right now. Just outside of your range. Hey, hey, level up. Make Sinister Strike just a little bit cheaper. Okay, Hogger, where are you? Twenty-three Night Elf. Let's see how this goes. Oh, he's going to help. Oh, this ought to be easy then. Hey, come back here. Yeah, I got to finish the move. Cool. Thanks. Gonna die. Let's 
down and run. <laughs> I am out of here. Let's see. Can I stealth? There we go. So I do want to get this quest, the collector, which I do believe drops from a missive, uh, a letter from one of these guys. I thought it might have been Hogger that dropped it, which is why I waited and shot him. Hmm. Did they clear everything around here? I'll take advantage of that. Take this chest. I guess they're questing for reputation because they're definitely not going to get any experience from these low level mobs. Are you AFK? What's going on here? The poor animal's not even fighting back. There it is, okay. <laughs> there you go, defend yourself. So... I definitely looted Hogger because I have the the paw for completing the quest. But I didn't get the missive. It's disappointing. Nope, there's Hogger again. We're not gonna fight him. <laughs> we got that paw. By lucky chance high level characters in the area or higher level or it's not like they're max level or anything there we go this note is a schedule with a list of days and times when a person described only as the collector will recite, receive a shipment of gold from the mines of Elwyn Forest. From the schedule, it looks as if the collector resides near the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch in Eastern Elwyn. This sounds important. You should report it to Marshall Dugan in Goldshire. Except. So someone is stealing gold from the mines and giving it to the collector. It's probably, oh, I mean, we know who's in the mines. The kobolds are in the mines. And the kobolds are in cahoots with this collector person. And the gnolls, because the gnolls, for some reason, have the schedule. Below is the process and schedule of Defias Gold Collection from the mines of Elwyn and to our headquarters in Westfall. Collection schedule, Sunday, 12.30 p.m., Wednesday, 12.30 p.m. By each specified day, gold gained from the Elwyn mines will be gathered at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. The agent in charge of these gatherings, the collector, will be known by the engraved ring he possesses, a ring I gave him. A party from, Dead Mine, from Defias headquarters will contact the collector, after which he will transfer the gathered gold. Be sure this process is performed without fail and without, and with utmost discretion. The collector is responsible for the transfer of gold, but ultimately the responsibility of each member of the Defias Brotherhood is to ensure that this role is acted out with attention and discipline. Remember, my brothers, we were once proud craftsmen. We'll perform our current duties with the same precision we used in our past trade, EVC. That is important Greetings. backstory. Hail Havoc, have you been killing gnolls? What can you tell from my smell? <laughs> I see you've been busy. You have our thanks. Just your thanks? Come on now, what do we got here? That one sells for more. Thanks for the shield I can't use. I'm going to vendor it. Back 
to turn in those quests and then we're going to head over to the Brackwell pumpkin patch in order to find this collector individual. And then after that, I think we're going to make our way towards Stormwind and see what's going on there with our quest. When did we discover that? <laughs> did it just not update earlier when I walked around Mirror Lake? That means that when we're at Brackwell Pumpkin Patch, we do need to run over here because that is the last part of the map that has yet to be discovered. <laughs> and it will bother me. I mean, it's not like there's achievements in this version of WoW, but it's personal achievement. I want to make sure I've stepped foot on every inch of Elwyn Forest. <laughs> Somebody thought that was funny. Let's see what we have here. Light be with you. Yes, Hogger has been a real pain for me and my men. You have something to report about the beast? Ha! Well done. I was starting to think no one would take down that monster. Here you are, Havoc, and thanks. That knoll was giving me a headache the size of Blackrock Spire. Ooh, a green tunic. Better armor, better stats. Wonderful. What? We haven't had our people working the Elwyn Mines for months. Let me see that note you have. Hmm, I have heard of this collector, but I don't know whom he's working for. It says in it, the Defias. <laughs> Thanks for the schedule. It will help us solve this mystery. Read it. It'll be solved for you. If the Collector is taking gold from our minds, then he's stealing from the kingdom. Bring the Collector to justice and bring to justice and bring me the ring mentioned in the pickup schedule you gave me. It may tell us whom the Collector is working for. That pickup schedule says the collector is hiding out in the Brackwell pumpkin patch. You should search for him there. Light bless you. Absolutely. Let's get our tunic on. And we don't need to sell. We've got things going on. We've got a better cloak. Yay, it's not pinkish purple. That's always wonderful. The rest of this... Is just to be sold. Do, do, do. Antonio Pirelli. Where's the guard going? You get that wolf. You need something? <laughs> hey, he's got lesser healing potions. I'm going to buy those. I do make use of that. And since you happen to be passing by, we will go ahead and sell. See you around. I don't have to go out of my way to do that. Oh, oh, the guard, <laughs> the guard scared me. I thought somebody was charging me on the road, and I was not sure who or what level. Okay, so the collector is going to be a bit of a challenge. A little bit of a challenge, but we should be able to deal with it, I'm hoping. <laughs> hoping a lot. I have a little bit better gear. I'm level 11. I have evasion, potions, bombs. I'm going to swap the bomb and dynamite because I think I'm probably going to use that to interrupt spell casting. Because it does stun for one second, and I'm pretty sure that can interrupt a spellcaster.
You know, these woods of Elwyn Forest are not that thick. I wouldn't expect so many bears to be in woods that are so open. There's not a lot of underbrush. But I guess I'm thinking a little too hard. Also, these bears live in a world where there's magic and all kinds of other crazy things. So why would they conform to logic? Oh no! Looks like someone's just taking care of them. Oh, but they're back up. Okay. Here we go. And we missed. We're gonna pop evasion. You're a painful one. Okay. I was more worried about this than I think I really need to be. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. On my other characters. I think I was probably level 10, but that felt much harder. <laughs> I am quite enjoying this rogue. Anyways, we got the ring. Engraved with the words, For Years of Service, EVC. Oh, and while we're here, let's go ahead and finish out our map. And then we will run that ring back to Marshall Dugan. Be the hero of Elwyn Forest. Hero of the people. We've already done this. I don't know why Questy is showing it there. Just like the gold pickup schedule. Seems to be a bit off. But that's alright. I know what's going on because I've been paying attention. get close to this tower and we'll have discovered this area and we can run back no I'm not stopping to fight you bear got places to be did that do it that did it all right oh boy this is gonna be a problem <laughs> This will be our end! Nah, I think we're good. I don't think they've got enough damage to kill me. No, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna hearth, rather than run all this back. I don't think I'll need my hearthstone again in the next short while, because it does go on an hour-long cooldown. So you want to be a little strategic as to when you use it. Well met. Did you find the collector? Did you discover whom he's working for? You found him. Well done, Havoc. He won't be collecting from the L1 mines again. And this ring you found is interesting. It's a membership ring for the old stonemasons guild in Stormwind. Why would a lowly thief have an artisan's guild ring? And why are the Defias thieves collecting money from our minds? Difficult questions. I hope one day we'll have answers. This one sells for, for the more. Alright, let's head into Stormwind and see what they want in SI7. See what's going on here. I don't think I need to get the flight path in Stormwind. I'm pretty sure you have the 
flight path to your race's capital city to begin with. I don't have any other connecting flight paths. There are none in Elwyn in Classic. That comes later on in Retail. Let's see. I can make some bandages. There's a few things that I can do. I am interested in more engineering. Probably make a few more bombs. That'll get us some more levels and we can learn some new things. I don't know what all you can do with engineering because I have not done it much. But it's something that's absolutely been helpful so far, the bombs. I think there's, uh, I know there's a target dummy which you can use to help out. And back in the wonderful Stormwind City. It's so pretty. <laughs> and SI7 is over in the old district to the east. I know my way around Stormwind pretty well. There's probably going to be some things. I have not played a rogue in quite a long time. So I don't know. There's probably rogue quests that send you specific areas maybe I have not been to. My main character you saw, or if you watched the very beginning of the video, you probably saw, is a paladin. So... I have uh, a lot of experience with a paladin quest and where they send you all over the place. This is a rogue trainer just out front. What can I do for you? Expose armor. The next level of backstab. Poisons. See you later. Interesting. Lots of crazy things. Master Matthias Shaw, leader of SI7. Need help? Can I help you, rogue? See, he knows I'm a rogue. I'm not the cheese delivery boy. <laughs> you found me, and by looking at you, I'd say the run and subsequent search may have been a great strain on your system, both mentally and physically. Would you like Renzik to show you the way to an inn, or are you ready for some work? Snatch and grab. Our operatives in the field are reporting heavy defias activity south of Goldshire and reports indicate that the defias have taken over Jared's Landing and are now using it as a way to smuggle large quantities of contraband from Red Ridge to Westfall. I need you to infiltrate the doghouse and get me that shipping schedule, Havoc. You will probably find it buried deep in the pockets of the dockmaster. And Havoc, should you be discovered, SI7 will disavow all knowledge of your existence. Honor, friend. Typical. So I think that's uh, let's go pickpocket that guy to get this. The, what, what do we need again? The schedule. I just had a schedule, but it's a gold pickup schedule, not a contraband schedule. All right, let's take care of that. Ooh, see, you get a good dagger from that. 6.57 damage per second. It's 9 to 18. That's going to feel rough putting that in offhand. But I feel like that's probably the right thing to do. Because the sword is a main hand only. It'll be alright. Man, I wish I had a mount. 
<laughs> all this running around. I was just out here. I was in, I picked up this quest in Goldshire. You couldn't have told me while I was in Goldshire. Hey, go down there and take care of those Defias in Jared's Landing. And then bring me whatever this is. <laughs> Come on now. if sprint was on a lower cooldown is that possible gives a 50% chance to remove all movement impairing effects when you activate your sprint then I'm guessing the second point makes it a hundred percent but it doesn't reduce the cooldown hmm Increases the effect duration of your gouge ability by half a second. So you can stun people for longer. I don't know if that's a good PvE talent. I mean, it feels to me if I want to stun them longer so I can bandage or something. It seems like a good PvE talent, but also just straight getting more dodge so I can just avoid damage to begin with is obviously... A very good good thing so that's what I'm gonna go for next increasing your parry chance that's a, again avoiding damage increasing your chance to hit with weapons by 1% Ooh, reduces the cooldown of your sprint and evasion abilities by 45 seconds so there is a talent to help with that Wonderful sword specialization. That's what I'm going to want to get. I don't care about daggers or maces. I want that sword specialization. Fist weapon specialization? Is that even a really good thing for rogues? That doesn't seem like it's a good thing for rogues. But what do I know? Blade twisting gives your sinister strike, backstab, gouge, and shift abilities ten percent chance to daze the opponent. I thought I was gonna aggro him. I'm surprised it took so long. The Brotherhood will not tolerate your actions. What? Walking through the woods? That's illegal here. All right. Oh, there's that patrol. They're gonna catch up to me if I just go too slow. I need to pickpocket the dock master. So we've got to sneak in here. You didn't hear anything. Don't even play like you did. Oh, he resisted. Do I kill him? I feel like I'm going to have to kill him. Stealth? No, no, no. You guys see nothing. Hold on. Yeah, I thought that's how... You're gonna have to... Oh, crap! I didn't like me touching the chest. You saw nothing. Why are they disarming me so much? Yep, we're getting out of here. <laughs> I was able to kill one of them. Oh boy. Hey look, I'm getting unarmed skill. <laughs> one upside to the getting disarmed problem. Man, why did he have to resist the pickpocket? I'm going to have to wait for him to respawn. I hope it's not a long time. I really do.
Aggression increases the damage of your sinister strike. Just straight increasing damage by a percent. That's a nice one. Gives your offhand melee attacks a 20% chance to generate energy. That's nice. I think it's probably a good idea to clear these guys out. Oh, I thought this was... I thought this was the patrol here that showed up in there. Where did these guys come from? Okay, he's back. Oh, so they just show up? They just spawn, huh? No, you heard nothing. Oh, thank goodness. I don't care about the chest. No, you hear nothing. <laughs> don't make noises. No noises. And we're out. And they have no idea I was there. <laughs> Best rogue ever. Oh. Why did he have to resist being pickpocketed the first time? And now we hike our happy hind in back into Stormwind. Uh, sure, we'll kill you. Why not? It can be done relatively quick and easily. 57 experience. Sounds good. These weird looking boots. I look like Captain Planet right now. Green boots, tannish yellow pants, really yellow cloak, and a white shirt. I need some red. <laughs> put that <laughs> put that shirt back on with the red sleeves. And I'll be Captain Planet for sure. Wearing armor with every color of the rainbow. Not sure why it's showing Dark Moon Quest. The Dark Moon Fair is not here right now. That's where they set up when they're here in Elwyn, and they're not here. Questy, you goofy add on you. Okay. Get that dagger. I'm just going to put the dagger on my offhand. And hopefully I get a decent green sword for my main hand. Shortly. Just looking at the damage. I don't think it does any reduced damage being in the offhand. You just hit with the one sword first, and I think your damaging abilities to your normal weapon damage I, is that. Your main hand, I feel like it's based off your main hand weapon is what your abilities that do damage based off your weapon, such as backstab. Yeah, see, requires a dagger in main hand, so I'm pretty sure it's based off of that. Can't use that anyways if I'm holding a sword in my main hand, but that's okay. Sprints. That little bit of juiced up speed. That's cool looking druid. I like his armor. Show off with your mount. I'm only level 11. 
jealous. We'll turn in the quest to Matthew Shaw, run over and turn in our quest here to Grimmond. Let him know that his wonderful friend down there in Goldshire sent us his way. It is heartening that a gray gun is not better than the gun that I crafted, though. Definitely makes me feel good about my engineering skills. <laughs> Plus, I put the scope on it for a little bit extra damage. I like his swords. Sparkly. Some nice looking enchants on them. Greetings. Your mortality wanes with every moment. Your waste, you waste loitering in the barracks, rogue. That sounds like a threat. I am astonished. Astonished that Karen finally found a recruit that could possibly... That could possibly have the makings of a proper rogue. Take this blade, Havoc. A day will come when you will be called a, upon again to serve as the SI-7. Hone your skills, keep your eyes open, and that blade sharp. You won't see us coming, but you'll feel it when we get there. <clears throat> For the Alliance. <clears throat> okay, Matthew Shaw. We will, uh... We'll breeze right over his comment there. <laughs> and run over here to Grimmond. This is pretty much the last quest for Elwyn and Stormwind at the level that I am right now. We're Getting dangerously close to wrapping it up. Make a little bit of money selling these things. Vendoring it out here. The legwork is serious. I'm not going to go deal with rats. I might run over here and grab this one, this quest, before we head out to Westfall, because that quest takes place in Westfall. You're here to help with my delivery. Very good. See you soon. Turn in the quest. Take Walk away. <laughs> I am not going to the Dwarven area. Thanks for that 110 experience. And uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll grab that quest later or something. I'm not sure. But for now, that's going to be it for the first episode. We made it to level 11. We have completed all of Elwyn Forest. And it's time to move into Westfall. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this, and I really appreciate it. Any comments you've left, also really appreciate. Thank you all, and I will see you all next time.